I wish oh, I could just find the transition button. <laughs> Hello. I think they can hear us. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Sierra likes the can music while well, the can music's gone. Oh, yeah. No <laughs> music. And we get to hear it. They get to hear it. Yeah. Oh, Yay. We've got it. Look at us. Excellent. Look at us professional streamers. <laughs> <laughs> First time for everything. We've done it. Big, nice. big howdy, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Shrimp and Crits Live, Waho, the Southern Fried actual play stream, which is bi weekly on Thursdays at 6 p.m. Eastern. I won't add the other letter in there because we've had some confusion <laughs> about that today. <laughs> <laughs> it's now EDT instead of EST. I don't know. I'm in Central, so we just do things centrally over here. Centrally. Centrally. We're <laughs> right down the middle uh, over here in, in Nashville. Um, we have a fantastic show for you today. We're playing Monster of the Week. Yeah, that's right. Fantastic. Uh, We're playing Monster of the Week by Michael Sands. Please allow me to introduce my terrific cast. Dre, why don't you tell us your character and the D and D class oh, that each of your cats would be? <laughs> that each of my oh god, uh, you know I have four, you know I have four cats, yeah. right? Uh, <laughs> Lay it on me. I need to know. <laughs> okay, well I'm Dre and I play Agnes. Uh, she is the expert. Uh, she's got a full blown silver fox thing going on, long gray hair, lots of scars. She wears flannel and keeps a revolver and a spell book in her apron at all times. Uh, she's in her late 50s, and she absolutely still looks like she could kick your whole ass. Uh, Fuck yeah. God, but, all right. I will. Hmm. <laughs> Rapid fire. You got this. <laughs> so many cats. All right. Uh, okay. My cat Jojo is huge, really huge, weighs like 12 pounds, dumb as a bag of hammers. He's a barbarian. Uh, my cat Maya, tiny, adorable, and will slap you. She's a sorcerer. She was just born gifted. She's just good at shit. Uh, and Ollie, I don't know. We just found him in a drain pipe. I'm not sure yet. I'll let you know. Uh, and Sounds then... like a rogue to me. <laughs> yes, a rogue. That's true. Story. He somehow survived in a drain pipe for nine months. Uh, and then uh, Graham is just a weird little cryptid. Doesn't want to talk to anybody. That boy is a wizard for sure. Good answers. And I love that you were on the spot and you had an answer for each one of them pretty quickly. <laughs> Um, Jess, let's hear your character and the last book you quit reading halfway through. <laughs> oh, we just <laughs> talked about it. <laughs> All right. I am Jess she, her, playing Camilla Hall, the monstrous also she, her. Uh, she is a uh, multidimensional vampire who tends toward the snake rather than the uh, traditional Dracula. Um, tall, blonde, uh, very severe looking elegantly dressed, carries a sword for no discernible reason. Um, and the last book that I stopped halfway through was The Wastelands by Stephen King, which I have been trying so hard to read because Cap has recommended the series to me so many times, and I, I can't. I can't do it. I'm, just, yeah. I'm so bored. I'm sorry. It's hard. It's a slog. <laughs> I, just want, I just want one character development, please. <laughs> That's how much that happen on screen. You got, like, three more books. <laughs> just, just well, one there. character development. Yep. <laughs> uh, Cap, who is your character Hello. and your favorite Beatles song and your character's favorite Beatles song? Thank God I didn't get this <sighs> one. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I am Cap. He, him. I am playing Nathan. Also, he, him. Nathan is the most average person you've ever met. What you get is what you see. Something like that. My favorite Beatles song is Golden Slumbers. Nathan's favorite Beatles song is probably Come Together because he's average. Fair enough. Fair enough. 
I love it. Golden Slumbers is a good pick. It's oh, so fucking good. It's my, it's my favorite because of how you sing it, Ian. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, and my name is Ian. <laughs> I'm, cr- I'm crying already. <laughs> and um, Ian's going to be singing Golden Slumbers, and this stream will be taken down. Golden <laughs> Slumbers. I'm done. <laughs> and we're off That's the all air. That's you get. <laughs> DMCA. DMCA. You owe someone a million dollars? 10 million actually probably so everybody needs to pay up immediately please don't <laughs> yes <listen>. please <laughs> start tipping so as uh all of our listeners everyone gets settled in here just make sure you're following us here on twitch get subscribed if you want to skip ads and get that extra delicious shrimp coin you can spend shrimp coin for uh to give our hunters bonuses or negatives to our roles you might also see that you can now prompt me to introduce some trouble for our hunters as well. This is something I'm testing out that might wreak some <laughs> havoc on the, on the stream today. Uh, you can take, you can prompt us to take a multiversal hard move, which will bring in some weirdness from some other dimension. Maybe, maybe one we've encountered before. Maybe one, uh, maybe something else entirely. Uh, we'll see. This will be my choice, uh, depending on the situation. But it will surely make things weird for these three. Uh, you can also a uh, more expensive option for your shrimp coin, uh, make the monster take a hard move. When you use this option, you'll need to have the keeper reference sheet handy. Tell me which one of the monster moves you'd like me to take, and I'll do it at my earliest opportunity. Uh, I, you know, so we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I'm very excited. Um, Hunters, Never do you did. have any questions about these added complications or anything else? Anything you want to talk about? So they, I just they can't wait can to now... see them in action. They can now help and and hurt us. Yeah. Sure. Which is always but, the goal. But no right? more, yeah. no more luck. Good. Ian didn't want you all to be able to give us luck anymore. So we, we <laughs> these are the lucky. new rules. Oh, you they're... were too generous with your luck last time. <laughs> you, yeah, so I decided because of last time they got so much luck, uh, you can't give them luck with shrimp coin. You now have to give bits to get, give luck with... Uh, so actually let me transition us to the next slide so you can see that there in the middle 1000 bits equals one luck so i you know oh and you'll have to let us know who you're giving the luck to it doesn't prompt you like the shrimp coin stuff does Mm. so uh exciting stuff there um i'm ready to get started if everybody else is are they able to now um tag us with their shrimp coin when they give us plus and minuses Yes, but like I said, the luck yeah. doesn't afford us that yeah. uh, mm. same ease. Incredible. Our, survi- our survival is behind a paywall. My glasses are dirty. <laughs> but because oh, I am wow, generous like... and kind, I am letting them all keep... E- they each get to keep one luck point from the last stream, so... Thanks. Is, is that your character sheet? That's so tiny. No, this is just as luck. This is <laughs> one luck. One luck, three XP. Oh, Do team it. XP. It's the important things. Perfect. I have a minus one already. That's oh. great. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, who gave you Jay, minus I'm one? Oh, Sarah. Who do you think gave? Oh no, minus Jay. One. Oh wow. Yeah, that's rude. Come on, <laughs> <Wow>. Jay. <laughs> I'm writing minus one from Jay on my. From Jay. Here. <laughs> put it. Put a little heart. Jay also says, uh, Jay also says, I love you, Cap. So you get a minus one with love. But so. they love you. See, that's minus what the heart's one from Jay. Minus one from Jay, I, big I, heart. I love that you're using a guest check to take notes. I would argue that all of you should be taking your notes on guest checks, but. Um, Sen- I, yes. I've said it. I need mine for my I, actual job, I, so oh. I can't talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> what well, was that, Jess? Spell- Sorry. I, I have one notebook, and this is all of my session notes for the, like, six different games I'm in. Fair Camilla enough. also so doesn't probably... work here. Yeah, you don't. You just chill. We work. You don't work. <laughs> Camilla doesn't pay bills. <laughs> How pedestrian. Oh. Uh, oh. Cap, you oh, get shit. a luck. Look at you. Thank you. Yay. Thank, Thank you, Dixon. I'm going to need it. Thank you. All right, with that, I'm going to get into this opening monologue. So everybody, get get your get your imagination glasses on. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I can't wait no, this go, long. This is too much too much dead yeah, air, ahead. Cap. What are you doing? Cap, this is too much waiting. You have to have your imagination me. glasses ready. <laughs> How dare you? Oh, uh, perfect. Worth it. Worth it. Everybody clap. <laughs> 
Uh, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> buried deep within thousands of pieces of dark brown silt, one might ponder how each ground-up chunk of sediment resembles a world in its own. No two coffee grounds are exactly alike, and they do not interact, all pressed up together, contained in a white lacy filter. Rich and earthy aromas fill the air as hot water begins to percolate through the porous pile of bean dirt. You see, there are some forces that weaken the barriers between the different universes. Just as hot water moves through coffee grounds to brew a caffeinated beverage, things like the trans-dimensional waffle batter allow the warriors against the hellish onslaught to move between these worlds. And cream. Well, coffee creamer in the multiverse is is the... the sh sh sugar is... Um, Sugar is... Uh, some people like their coffee in all sorts... Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> what is this bit? What is this bit? Fantastic. Ian's never had coffee in his life. <laughs> He's desperately <laughs> to figure out how coffee works. I keep screwing up the metaphor. Uh, but anyway, the magical formula of the transdimensional waffle batter is kept safe by the Nexus being Sam, through whom the mysterious Waho Council speaks to our three hunters, Nathan the Mundane, Agnes the Expert, and Camilla the Monstrous. But there are other forces at work. But are there other forces at work? <laughs> <laughs> that was a legit fuck up. But are, are there other forces at work that could tamper with these barriers? How delicate is the multiverse? Camilla, I would like you to roll a custom move. I won't reveal mm. it totally quite yet, but roll plus weird for me. All right, that is a six plus three, so a nine. Okay, okay. All right, um... Tell me what you're dreaming. I think Camilla is dreaming of a time she doesn't actually remember, which is before she was a vampire. I think she's dreaming about being out kind of on the frontier in Tennessee, doing something mundane. She's getting water from a well. And everything's moving very slowly. Okay. And the sun is hot. Okay. Beautiful. So, frontier town. It's hot. It's a hot day. You're drawing water from a well. Um. You get to choose one on a seven to nine. The others that you don't choose are not true. You either get to have the upper hand plus one ongoing until the dream is over. The other hunters are with you from the start of this dream, or you know that you're dreaming. Huh. I, th I think I like the idea of not knowing that I'm dreaming. Uh, I'm going to say, let's do get, uh, the upper hand. I want to see what everybody else is dreaming, potentially. Awesome. So you get plus one ongoing until the dream is over. Make sure you remember that. Um, yeah, I think that you are uh, drawing well water from this well. Uh, it's a, I think it's warm, but it's pleasantly warm. You are used to it, perhaps. Um, what is your town like? What, uh, who, who do you live with? What's your family looking like here? Well, Camilla doesn't remember this, so it's all her brain filling in random details, like in a dreamscape. So I think she's pretty sure she was married, but her husband looks like Sam. 
and the town is really small but also when you look down the the main street it seems to stretch on forever and it's just you know uh, a handful a town is probably pretty generous it's maybe a church little uh gathering space some a, a saloon of some kind watering hole and uh, and that's about it um okay yeah i think that your husband comes up to you and i think you're right i think that he looks like sam but perhaps he's totally faceless like in the way that you don't recall details in dreams at times uh, but you can see his nice nicely shaven head um and you hear him say um uh all right now camilla uh, hurry up now we, we just got a few more chores to do before before i got a big surprise for you did i miss my birthday my own birthday oh c come now darling you know i don't i don't uh oh we need to hydrate thank you leah and donkey five yeah. way ahead of you oh oh are there two hydrates no i'll hydrate again just for fun <laughs> oh it's not yeah, leah sure, I'll have a drink. it's not leah and donkey it's leanne donkey <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> but that's a funny mix-up um oh come now camilla you know you know i don't need a reason to dote on you I just have a little surprise I cooked. I cooked up a nice dinner. Well, that's sweet. Yeah. Give me. Give me one second. I'll finish up here. Okay. All right. Well, I'll just be. Um. I'll be. Uh. uh I'll. I'll be along that way. You just come follow when you're ready. All right. All right. You start to draw up this water, and um. When the when the bucket. You know how the bucket descends and then it's in the shadows and then it you start to it starts to come up toward you and you see it kind of emerge in the reflection of your face in this water you see something terrifying it is you but it's fanged it has these large snake-like fangs uh and uh yeah i think that uh you <laughs> this is not something that you're expecting here in this moment how do you react to this uh, screaming and dropping the bucket back into the well and backing away. Oh. And I think running after Sam. Okay. When you... When you run towards Sam, you find yourself running down an alleyway. And it's oddly not daylight anymore it's darker and the town looks nothing like the town that you're used to this beautiful frontier uh town you um you see someone crouch down over a purse of some sort maybe uh he's it's a man he's rooting through the purse and you hear a voice, maybe voices. Sometimes it sounds like Sam. Sometimes it sounds um, much different. But you hear from behind you, Hey, Cam, just, I know you're hungry. Look, that, that dude doesn't even deserve to live, okay? And you get the sense that you're being urged to take a bite from this man's neck. I think I just walk forward very slowly and very slowly grab him and pull him up. And it doesn't matter that he's struggling because I'm very strong now. And bite into his neck. Okay, yeah, I won't make. I was gonna need. I was gonna make you roll to resist, but you just went for it. I love that. <laughs> um, hell yeah, he uh, drops the purse on the ground, and he, you know, of course, reacts in pain to this um, as you feed on him. And 
you feel another presence in the alley suddenly. Uh, Agnes, you are, you're here. You see her feeding on pers- uh, on this person. Uh, you see Camilla. You know Camilla. Um, and you see her as she begins to drain the life from his veins. Yeah, I think Agnes is just standing silhouetted in this alleyway, and um, and she kind of reaches like a shaking hand into her pocket to grab her spell book and says, Am, what are you doing? I drop the guy and turn around. Blood. And it, is, do do I recognize Agnes if I don't know that I'm dreaming? Or is that just up to me? You do now recognize Agnes, yes. And I think that you, you watch Cam kind of go from, like, dream Cam, who's fully in it, to the Cam you know, going, I, Where are we? Hey, 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 you're okay, babe. And, like, comes over and, like, tries to put a hand on her. I, I, she's gonna flinch away. Oh. Uh. The figure, and, the... And try and, try and cover the, the guy's neck now. Like, see if he's dead. <laughs> um... It's just Nathan. Nathan in a pile of or puddle of blood. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I think you reach down to help this man and Nathan is clutching his neck. And uh Nathan, I want you to take uh what? Probably like two harm from this. Oh no. Uh, this is this is pretty brutal. Uh Agnes, as you approach Camilla <laughs> Awesome Cap, great work. Uh, <laughs> uh as you approach Camilla, though, the man that was once resembling Sam now has long blonde hair, and um, he gets in between you, and, and he says, <clears throat> Do not interfere. Who, who are you, and what is the meaning of, your, of, this, of this business? And I don't know this person. No, I don't think you do. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd be very afraid. As far as I see it, you're fucking with the person I'm training and with my friend. So, what the fuck do you want? I, I believe there seems to be some sort of confusion because your friend is in my charge. And he claws out, begins to walk towards you menacingly. Can I cast a spell at him? Sure. What would you like to accomplish here? Um, I think if this person is claws out and appears kind of pretty monstrous and is walking towards Agnes, she's going to try to cast a harm spell. Um, okay. Okay. Let's get a plus weird roll. We're doing use magic here. That is a seven plus two is nine. That's pretty damn good. Choose a glitch. Choose a glitch. Uh, um, it has a problematic side effect. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Um, and she sees this sort of like, I don't know, other like otherworldly menacing creature or person coming at her and she had already whipped her spell book out not like coming in the alley not knowing if like what was going on if someone was hurting cam or if she was hurting them and she just like has her spell book up and says really quickly nocere monstrum hurt and burn rend and tear rip him open make this fight fair and reaches into her pocket and like throws some of that uh like waffle batter all right hell yeah at him (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I can feel your pain as you uh, do this, like, wonderfully well-written, serious spell. And then you're like, ah, I throw a waffle batter at him. God I throw a waffle batter at him. <laughs> <laughs> this is the story we're telling. It's, it's powdered sugar. 
uh, it strikes him in the shoulder uh, and I think burns through part of a very nice, very nice suit. Um, and I think your surroundings begin to warp. And you see that you are now in not an alleyway, but indoors in some sort of a very well-furnished uh, meeting room, perhaps. And there are now a bunch of vampires, uh, and they don't look, they don't look friendly like Camilla. They look beady, <laughs> like they look like the beady kind, the kind that might give you a nice beating. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, uh, the, the man, though, the guy that you were fighting that you hurt sort of fizzles away. Uh, Nathan, you're in pain. You're looking at Camilla, who you're both kind of <laughs> noticing your surroundings change here. How do you two, what do you two do? What did you say? I said, who is apologizing profusely? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Are you all right? No. I'm so sorry. I'm not all right. <laughs> you bit my neck. <laughs> I didn't know it. I didn't know it was. I didn't know it was you. I didn't know. Okay. I didn't know it was here. And I'm like, I'll like pull something out of my pocket and, and like a scarf, just wrap it around your neck. Ah. <laughs> too tight. <laughs> Sorry. Too tight. Yep. Yep. Okay. Did we see the other guy? You saw him, but he's gone now. Now there's a bunch of uh, enemy cool. vampires closing in. Oh. On you. And they are approaching. Can you? We'll deal with this after. Can you deal with this now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll stand up and like hold out my hand and say, "These two are under my care. What do you want?" To the va the vampires around you. The vampires. Mm. <clears throat> we got orders. We're we're gonna. We're gonna freaking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer you. To <laughs> what are the options that involve you not killing us? Uh, part or you just die spontaneously, because then our orders. I'm pretty wouldn't... close. <laughs> <laughs> seems, seems like the same order. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I, mm, Agnes, do you want do? Is this something you want to do, or do I want to die? No, no. <laughs> I throw my brick. Yep. All right. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's the first non-Camilla vampire. Out of these things. All right, Nathan's throwing his brick. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. Anybody else? Uh. They don't have bricks. <laughs> all right how how many how many uh, yeah i don't have a brick how many vampires and we're still in this alley is that right or we're in no a you're in a you're in a room a well-furnished like a fancy room we're in a fancy, fancy. room you're in a we're fancy in a room fancy Ooh. you know what i I'm mean in a fancy room you know <laughs> yeah. you know the fancy kind um i can i can i shove agnes up onto the like conference room table you said it was a conference room right oh this but, is not the time for that sort of go thing. Go on. I mean, <laughs> no, like, um, continue. Get out of here. <laughs> Carry on. Stay, stay out of the way. <laughs> we'll, we'll defend you from the ground. De nice, nice, nice. That's All right, what okay. the kids are calling um, it. Sure, yeah, defend me from the ground. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that is what all the kids are calling it these days. Um, but then put myself between her and the vampires, and I'm just going to go for the first one that comes near us. Yeah, okay. Uh, Nathan, you, I want you to roll, uh, let's do some things simultaneously here. Nathan, I want you to roll kick some ass. Camilla, I want cool. you to roll to protect someone, because one has actually kind of lunged at you while you were get, getting Agnes into a protectable position. I'm using my minus one. Nice, nice. And Camilla, don't forget your plus one ongoing from your dream of your dreams That's roll. That's not going to help. I got an eight for you. Okay. Camilla, what'd you get? Not good. Not good? <laughs> okay. Like, like how not good? Well, tough, right? Well, tough is now at least a zero, which means I got a really, really good four. 
Hmm. Okay. No one can help you out of this. No, Cap, nope. you're you're going be helped. You're going to inflict harm on one another, you and you and your vampire Nathan. Um, Nathan, comma, you and your Wait, vampire. Wait, is it? Okay. <laughs> it's not vampire Nathan, right? <laughs> not There's yet. There's a Nathan in every universe. Yeah. <laughs> yep. uh, so your brick does how much harm? What, like two, probably? One? I don't know. Uh, that's going to be <laughs> how much harm does this two brick? harm. Does the character sheet give you a brick? What is this brick in the on the sheet? I can't remember. Uh, the first mundane weapon uh, section is golf club, baseball bat, cricket bat, or hockey stick. To and harm, you... hand, innocuous, messy. Cool. And you picked brick. So <laughs> I picked door brick, yeah. Door brick, sure. Logical. Innocuous. Yeah. Sure. And messy. Sure. Um, so you hit this guy. <laughs> you hit this vampire over the head with a brick, and he, he doesn't even flinch. Uh, I, I mean, it hurts him, obviously, quite a bit, but... Um... He approaches you and starts to scratch you all up with a two-harm ah. kind of deal and push you back. Uh, you said you threw your brick, right? You didn't just swing the brick. I, I always throw my brick. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> then, yeah, I think your empty arms are now kind of pinned back. Uh, Camilla, you failed. Uh, so y- your vampire, <laughs> you turn around to see a vampire sailing past you and colliding with Agnes. Agnes, I want you to take two harm here. Uh, and Great. Camilla, you hear a voice in your head. Um, or perhaps from somewhere. Did you take somewhere. your XP? Oh, yeah. Make sure you mark experience. That's a good oh, point. Oh, God. Thank you. Caps our little ex- experience tracker here. Um, That's what they call me. <laughs> and, uh, Camilla, you hear this voice. Maybe somewhere in the room. I don't know. And it says... I don't know. Why don't you just go ahead and bite the other side of his neck? And you turn around and you see that this other vampire is holding Nathan, uh, kind of like pushing him back towards you. Not necessarily trying to present him to you, but like it's just kind of happening to turn that way. I look fucking delicious, is what he's (laughs) trying to say. (laughs) You're being... um, Oh, someone got a... Oh, I got a minus one. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) That's not really how this works. Yeah. (laughs) Yes, it is. Whoever will get a plus one against me, I suppose. No one's against anyone here. I'm a fan of my hunters. Uh, 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 So, yeah, you're being urged kind of with this vampire persuasion to bite into your friend's neck. You can resist. Um, Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm... Please do. I think Cam is so full of shame for the fact that, like, it just... She... I I guess, like, realizes that she was dreaming or, like, there was something else going on before. But she's still so full of shame um, that I think I'm just going to start backing away from Nathan, even if it means putting myself, like, in the shit. Sure. Uh, Let's get a act under pressure. Plus cool. I'm, like, screaming, but all you can hear is, bite my neck, I'm delicious! <laughs> <laughs> I'm full of blood! <laughs> like, every every Looney Tunes thing, you've, you've just turned into a Capri Sun. A steak, yeah. <laughs> and it says O positive on it. <laughs> <laughs> Which oh, is obviously yeah, the most delicious one. 10 on the dice, plus my plus one ongoing, so that's an 11. Plus your plus one... From Jay giving me a minus one. Yeah. Super, super <laughs> success. Thanks, you succeed Jay. so hard. You succeed all the way. Yeah, you have no you have no no inclination. No to to no there's nothing in you that wants to follow this instruction. Which is what it is. It was an instruction. Um, and yeah, you see Nathan there struggling. Agnes, you have a vampire up in your face. What do you do? And I, I, in your face. I would like to <laughs> shoot it with my revolver. Oh. Damn. <laughs> All right, let's go kick some ass. You're in pretty short. Uh, short. I'm going gonna, oh, I'm gonna to give you minus one since he's so much up in your face. Yeah, sorry, okay. buddy. Okay, that's quite all right. <laughs> um, okay, so that's even with a minus. Oh, wait, I have. Ooh. Oh, no. Okay, it was a seven, but I have a minus one tough, which makes it a six. Um, so, can anyone help? 
help me? Or am I busy resisting? What are you at? I'm at a six. I just need to get it up one one point. Nathan's tangled up. Camilla, mm-hmm. I would let you abandon Nathan here to help Agnes if you oh. would like to. I but. think I mean I'm actively trying to like get away from Nathan because I'm afraid of myself. So it, maybe if I can like, as I back away, I'll like grab this up uh, uh, the guy who's going after Agnes as I'm like backing up, mm-hmm. and kind of try to throw him off. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, roll help out. That's plus cool. Don't fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> that is box cars. <laughs> Whoa! Everybody threaten your dice. That, yeah, fair enough. Um, your help grants them plus one to their roll. That's uh, that's what you got here. So, Agnes, you get a seven now. Okie dokie. Which means you inflict harm on one another. So, uh, Camilla just gives you just the edge that you need to get the right positioning to fire your gun. Um, and, yeah, you're going to do, what, two harm to this thing? Three harm, close, reload, loud. Wow, yes, then a shot Hell yeah. echo. I mean, you know, guns are freaking loud, and you're inside. It's true. <laughs> and revolvers are even louder than, like, regular guns. And so, yeah, there's a pretty brutal sound in this room. And that vampire stumbles back, but not— I think after they kind of fall off the table from this gunshot, you— uh, so you notice, you feel a pain that your adrenaline was allowing you to ignore, and you see a big scratch on your arm. You've taken another two harm. Um, oh, shit. Nathan, four. Nathan, back on the floor, you are struggling against this vampire, and you look up to see what else can go down to get you out of here, to uh, remove you from the clutches of this, this beast, this uh, villain. Uh, And you see there are no longer um, boundaries to this room. You just see basically a sea of these vampires coming in. Um, You turn around, you see more of that. And Camilla and Agnes, as you both begin to square up together on this table, uh, you find yourselves surrounded and uh, vampires... Uh, they they swarm you and they swarm you and uh, you wake up. The next day, the three of you trudge into the Waho restaurant in a groggy stupor. None of you slept well the night before and your dreams were strange to say the least. Uh, Nathan and Agnes, you begin your pre-shift side work as the other employees clock out with their aprons in hand. Camilla, you are not burnt to a crisp by the sun of this world, but still its brightness today does not vibe well with your sleep-deprived self. Giant cat-eye sunglasses. (laughs) (laughs) Enormous. When he sees you enter, Sam goes, Well, hello there, y'all. We had a busy breakfast today, so I sure hope... Sure hope to catch a break here at lunch. <laughs> he beams at the three of you. Mm, morning, Sam. Oh, God. Good morning, Sam. He's just mixing a pot. Hey, Sam. Hi there. Hey, Nathan. Hi, Nate. Oh. Agnes grabs Nate, looks at his neck, and sort of <laughs> spins him around, giving him a an, an exam. <laughs> Tap, pats his neck. He doesn't have... Actually... Let's have you investigate a mystery. Yes, That's a that's... fun thing. Ian, I'll have you know at the beginning of this game, Jay did redeem multiversal hard mode. Just so you know, you have that in your back pocket. Oh, shoot, I missed that. Thank you for letting me know. Let me get you a post-it note. I figured we should get through the first scene before we start doing that. So, <laughs> sure. um, as a I, caveat. Uh, I got a 10. No, I didn't ignore you, Jay. I just wasn't. I was so focused on crafting the perfect narrative that the chat was just not even in my sphere of influence. But now you're all here. He went to his mind palace. I was in my mind palace. Now I've exited my mind palace, and I'm just letting it channel through me, you know. Now's the time we can all sneak into Ian's mind palace while we stop there. Everybody in. (laughs) 
<laughs> Who's dreaming about who now? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they've hijacked Ian. my mystery. Ian goes to sleep this at night. And it's, just, it's just the three of us. Like, <laughs> I love it. Uh, you rolled a We're full just six. Looking for story spoilers. Yeah, <laughs> I've locked it all away. You'll never find it. There's a big boss you have to fight to get to it or oh. something. I don't know. Okay, we okay, we leave. It's not worth it. It's my birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday. It's a raid boss, so you need like a hundred people. Is that how MMOs work? I don't know. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay, so you, Dre, you, Agnes, you rolled a very good roll, right? You rolled a success, a full success? Mm-hmm. In that case, you get to hold two on Investigate a Mystery while you check out Nathan's neck. Uh, what happened here? <laughs> what happened here? You don't see open bloody wounds on this man's neck you do see soreness and nathan i think that you you still feel they're not hickeys <laughs> <I saw, laughs> how'd I you saw, know by my eyebrow <laughs> raise your eyebrows go <laughs> damn it i had a i had a joke ready to explain the hickeys <laughs> damn it oh i hate that i ruined that um, it was bad. He, he Don't could, worry. That's why I call my jokes. jokes. In addition to <laughs> yeah, Nathan's also, not that cool. <laughs> there's also a hickey, but it's up a little higher, um, <laughs> and down a little lower. I fell asleep vacuuming. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I quit. That's it. We peaked. That's it for the session. By <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. Uh... <laughs> Nathan, you still feel this pain. You don't erase the harm that you've taken. Uh, I'm so close to dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're fucked, my dude. Um, yeah, uh, but so basically, Agnes, what happened here, he was wounded, but clearly not in quite that, quite the same way that you witnessed it happen. Um, like spiritually wounded. Yes, the good like Lord. In his, like okay. in his heart, okay. The good Lord, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay. Um, well, I, I mean, I feel like you already answered what is being concealed here was going to be my next one, but I don't know if there's anything else to. No, I mean, I always love that question. Um, okay. I can always say nothing, you know, and then you know, right? <laughs> okay, what is being concealed here? <laughs> nothing. Um, <laughs> Absolutely the nothing. Other- this is pretty cut and dry. <laughs> no. Um, mm, what is being concealed here? I think that I'll certainly like double down this this dream. And y- you haven't mentioned it to one another. You all have experienced this dream. I think that's important to note because you know mm-hmm. could have been just images of your you know whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, this dream is wounding you. This dream is 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 um, doing something very real to you. Uh, but what is being concealed here in the background that is kind of blurry as you focus in on his neck? You see, like a skittering. Yeah, a little skittering. Uh, something blue from from behind the pot to behind the refrigerator. Does it look like a? What was it called again? Rochferatu. Does it look like a Rochferatu? <laughs> it is a <laughs> it is a walk-in <laughs> vampire. Yes, there there are uh, walk-in vampires skittering around. They're not threatening you in any way. They're just being concealed here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> All right, a uh, couple things, Nathan, Cam. Yeah. You have that dream last night. I was hoping that was just me. You know, I don't really have dreams, not in the way that I really remember them. In what way, then, Sam? That sounds, Tell me about that it. sounds nice. No, Sam, kind of. I love you. Not at this time. Focus <laughs> up. Sometimes I have this reoccurring okay. dream where nope. I'm in Damn this it. blank I'm space. I'm in this. I just yeah. said Sam it. I love the idea that I say Sam Damn it. Sam so much that <laughs> Sam it. <laughs> Sam it, Damn. Cannon. I, it's like I see the restaurant, but it's out in the middle of this vast expanse. Mm, I've had that oh, one. I have that one too sometimes. Yeah. But and then purpose. Keanu Reeves is there. And... All right, everybody. I love, I love Keanu Reeves. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Cam, Focus Cam up, like, everybody. 
notably cam is keeping things between her and Nate, like the counter a stool like between her and nathan and looking extremely sad I, I don't blame you for biting my neck in the dream i did look delicious remember when i turned into that giant steak with a face well that 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 was after i knew it was a dream I, and that was yeah I would have taken a bite of me too. I get it. Yeah, I'm... but I feel bad. I feel like I'm bleeding a lot. I feel like the opposite of stable. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, keeper, like like the stool with the, the leg missing. I I have four hearts. Am I also unstable today? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You start to feel weak. You both start to feel as if you're rapidly getting ill. Um, you know, the day before you're sick, that's kind of what you're what you're feeling right now. And if you don't treat this in some way, it's going to get worse. I think the expert here would perhaps recognize this. Okay, she says, I've had a lot of insights in the last second. We... <laughs> mm. Something magical is happening to us last night that wasn't just a dream ah. yeah i know the fact that we all shared it should be a hint but also the fact that nate and i look like this today we need to do something you look like hell i feel like hell and cam Not sleeping isn't an option something was messing with you whatever happened wasn't your fault you know that sure did, did you all see the not vampire sephiroth looking guy it yeah did, did i see him oh um that was a question for me sorry i was listening i was oh, yeah, sorry. Hey, just hey, wrapped God, up did in I this see the, did i, I see saw the that you were in the zone uh thanks, i was back zero. in the mind palace <laughs> zero minus one to nathan hell yeah trying to kill, trying to kill nathan let's kill <laughs> this man zero today guy. come wait, on no. <laughs> chat let's kill this man today wait 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 wait, wait. <laughs> I believe in you. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, you saw... Well, you saw the blank, featureless version of this of this man. So I don't know who... I. It's not like somebody I would recognize. It might give you some kind of dark feeling, something you would, would wish you don't remember kind of deal. Cool, I choose not to. <laughs> and I didn't recognize this right. person, right? I don't think so, no. No. It didn't okay. look like a super cool Nathan, did it? I'm always on the lookout. <laughs> it, was, it was Sir Nathan. No. He's back. Okay, I think Agnes like if just describes this person to the best of her ability because she's the only mm -hmm. one who actually saw this person's face, right? No, there was no face. It was uh, you oh, saw the hair, no face. but oh, no okay. face. Yeah, it was like dream person. I don't think any of the characters in these dreams have, have faces. faces. We got a plus long, one long. forward for Ooh. Agnes. Thanks, Dixon. Oh, hey, thanks. Was it? I'll write that down. And it was like blonde hair and big claws. Blonde hair, big claws, retractable in some way. Like they weren't always clawry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So basically, what we had was like a blonde Wolverine situation. No face. Is that what you saw? Also, retractable claws, no face, blonde, and clearly fucking with Cam in particular. So, I... Sam, you want to weigh in on this? I mean, I... Sam, you ever heard of a no face? Like I said, I I don't really have dreams much much that I remember, and I, I certainly didn't have a dream like that, y'all. Y'all, I can't believe y'all are having the same dream. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we were dreaming, Jeez. Sam. Um, I Sam, I think is there we like were. a dream I dimension that we don't have to go to sleep? A so dream dimension. Through. I I ain't never heard of something like another dimension. Okay. Now that's silly. Yeah. Nathan, are you okay, buddy? You don't. No. Look, you don't look so good. I'm not. Hey, hey, Ian. Can I do a? Can I do a move? Sure, of course. Yeah. What are you trying to trigger here? We Dark have past. If you trawl through your memories for something relevant to the case at hand, roll plus weird. Ooh, I love this um, move. It's always very hard, but awesome. Is it okay? Can I? Can I do it? Yes, roll plus weird. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, she thinks really hard. Okay, plus weird. That was an 11 plus 2. So, 13. So, on a 10 plus, ask the keeper two questions. Um, hmm. 
when I dealt with this creature before, what did I learn? Um, okay. We don't know what the creature is yet. Um, or the situation, perhaps? Sure, sure. You might hear my dog whining. I'm going to go let her in real quick. I'm so, so cricket, sorry. Cricket, cricket. It's cricket time. Cricket, cricket time. Cricket, cricket, cricket time. Let's go, cricket. Oh my God, I would like to see move. the baby. Show us the baby. Cricket masks. Show us the baby. Oh, my God. Cricket masks. That's kind of scary. <laughs> it would actually be terrifying. <sighs> okay. Sweet little cricky. Um, when you've dealt with this creature before, uh, the creature being the scenario, being the dream, the simultaneous dreams that can hurt you. Uh, yeah. What did you learn is the final part of the mm -hmm. question. Yeah. What did I learn? Uh, that's what I'll say. There is, in something like this, there is a creature of some sort at the, this is not just a psychic phenomenon this uh, you know that there is an entity a being if you could just uh, sift through some texts and figure out uh, what it is or you know find it within your dreams or something like this you could maybe get to the source of this but um, it is okay. uh, it is a creature of some sort Okay, um, and then the next question: Who do I know that can help us right now? There's the baby. Cricky. The chat. The chat yeah. wants to see Cricky. Oh, Lick the bed. Cricky. Lick the bed. Oh my God, so cute. <laughs> it's her favorite game. Lick the bed. <laughs> um, okay, what was the question? Sorry. <laughs> who do Who do I know that can help us right now? Ooh, ooh, interesting. I think that, hmm, who do you know that could help you? Perhaps someone that we've interacted with before. Um, well, let's see. You went to school. Did you go to school around here? I think so. It was like 1990, but yeah. She sure. Went to school Quite here. a while ago. Um, you know that there is a, a there's a librarian at your at your college that okay. you could maybe get into. There's quite a wealth of books at the library, right? Um, yeah. So maybe if you could get there and talk to this librarian, um, you could potentially find out some good information here. Okay. Um. All right, so, um, okay, so she says, all right, um, I think there's a monster at the heart of what's going on, and I think if we can figure out how to square off with it, we can make this stop. Not great that Nathan and I already look and feel like hell, given that we haven't even found it yet. Can we I might know somebody who can tell us a little more. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We could follow that up. The other thing we could do is go to sleep and try to kick its ass. I am a little worried that we will get our ass handed to us if we do that, though. Our collective three-person ass. You also either need to do some first aid here or heal in some way before we move on, or you're going to take more harm. That'd be good. Do we know how? I mean, I can do magic, but... You can do magic, uh, or... I don't think you can actually stabilize via magic um, if I'm not... If I'm, uh... Only with the smite sting. Right, right, exactly. So I think that to stabilize the both of you, you could just spend some time doing some general first aid. You certainly have first aid here at this monster hunting base slash breakfast restaurant. <laughs> okay, okay, great. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cam will um, try to assist with that very quietly. We do it. And then we abandon Sam to the lunch rush. <laughs> Do, can we heal one each so we're at three? No, I'm sorry. You, I think with first aid, you can either heal one or stabilize. I'm not sure if that's totally true, but that's what I'm going to say right now. Okay. Do we roll I'm going to stabilize. Just, we just do it. No roll for that. It just takes time off the we clock. We just do it. Okay. Cool. Uh, Camilla, you can heal one since you're not stable if you'd like, but you didn't take harm, did you? 
Okay. I meant full health. Okay, cool. So, hunters, like what are we doing here? You all want to go to the library? Is that our is that our agenda? I guess. Unless y'all got another um, idea. I I want to check on something. I'll meet you there. Uh yeah, all right. Uh Nathan, you and me. Yeah, do you think you could like use I think you could like use some of that magic to heal me up a little bit just like I'm I'm really bad. Yeah, yeah. Um yeah, I can do that. Um and I can okay, do I'm that. Not gonna look. Can I do that, keeper? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Um and his neck is like it's just bruised? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think that she like puts her hand on his neck and is uh, and like does what she always does, which is like she has a spell book open in one hand while she's talking to him with the other, and she and he hears like her speaking in Latin, and he hears Santa Cortum, stitch the cuts and patch the tears, heal his body. I need him here. Nice, nice, nice. Roll plus weird. Very good. Uh, that's an eleven. Thank goodness. Very good. Yeah, awesome. No glitch, no problematic side effect. Um, what I will say, mm -hmm. do you still have the numbers rolled on your on yeah. your die? What, five and a four. Five and a four. Uh, well, that's not too super bad then, but uh, that four, this is mm. the multiversal side effect situation. Uh, thank you, Jay. Uh, you, your die is frozen. Your your lowest die is frozen at okay. four. Okay. So next okay. time you roll, that one will be a four, and you just roll the other d6. Okay. So. Sounds good. Yeah. Brought um, to you by the cold dimension. Yeah, brought to you, <laughs> <laughs> brought to you by Walk in World. Got real. Camilla, what are you doing while they heal up? You said you wanted to go check in on something. Yeah, Camilla goes home, and she checks all of the. <laughs> She's <laughs> she like, "Bye, <laughs> go um, to bed." <laughs> She's gonna solo like, this. <laughs> I, I actually slept great. Um, <laughs> I, I she checks the wards on her door that she and Agnes put on it ages ago, and on all the windowsills, and Interesting. checks through her things and makes sure everything is intact. Yeah, let's have you roll plus weird. Let's you, you let's have you use some magic here to see how this because this is like a bar, a place, or a portal kind of situation. I'll give you plus one since it's existing magic, but you're checking in on the bits here. That's an eleven on the dice. Plus three weird plus one. Plus three weird plus one. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. So, yeah, it works without effects. Your wards are uh, just fine, and I'll tell you... I'll tell you something very small got through your wards. You can tell that by looking in on the magic here. Ooh. Like some kind of creature. I'm bum, gonna bum, check bum. the rest, like check through the apart. I don't have a lot of stuff necessarily, so I'm just going to check every nook and cranny and place something might skitter into. Okay. Um, oh, uh, by the way, before I forget, your lowest die is frozen, which might help you here because you rolled very well. But yeah, all right, cool. Yeah, my lowest die was a five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, okay, as you look around, roll uh, investigate a mystery then. Or no, I, I'm gonna say, and uh, this is read a bad situation. If you're looking, you're looking for something bad in your apartment. All right, that is a four and a five, so that is a nine. Read is plus sharp, which is zero now, so nine. <laughs> I thought your sharp was good for some reason. Um, nine is nope, that's Agnes. <laughs> fair enough. Hold one. All right, 
some reason I looked at the move and then I then I put it away. Um, uh, are there any dangers I haven't noticed? Or I guess maybe well, would that count as noticing? But yeah, are there are there any dangers I haven't noticed? No, yeah, I like that question for this. You find a spot of blood on your pillow, like where the back of your head might have rested. Does it smell like mine? And does it smell? Oh, yeah, I guess you're a van. That's a fair question. I was like, what a weird yeah. question. <laughs> do you sleep in a coffin? That's a good question. What do you sleep in? What does your place look like? This is a good yeah, opportunity I need to, to know. learn more Just about tell, one of the tell hunters. Us, tell us about your place, Cam. Oh, it's a sad bachelorette pad. It's, um... There's just almost nothing in it. There's like six pieces of art in the entire place, and it's like a two bedroom. It's kind of near the graveyard, but not really necessarily like in a cool way, just like in kind of like the weird <laughs> shady back area where like the maintenance shed is. Neat. Um, and uh, everything is pristine, very well kept. And she does have like, it, she does not sleep in a coffin, but she definitely watched interview with the vampire like at some point when it first came out and got herself like really nice like black silk sheets so like that's like her one nod to like things are a little gothy can can we also can we do some vampire lore here this is a vampire lore that i've never explored with shrimp and crits like but i love the idea of you having like a jar of earth from your homeland like under the Mm. bed maybe or just somewhere. I do like that. Yeah. Like a placket of grave dirt. Yeah. Sort of thing. Yeah. Um, I think she keeps hers in a uh, box that is uh, clearly like a hand carved by someone who maybe wasn't the best at it, but wanted to make it pretty. I love that. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, as you know... The blood smell like mine. The blood... <laughs> smells like we're going to move to nathan and agnes <laughs> the blood smells like no <laughs> no i'm just kidding it, does, it's, it's, it smells like yours yes uh, but we are going to move to nathan okay. and agnes you are doing this healing ritual or perhaps heading to the library um what do you guys uh, have anything to say to each other in this moment or um just tell me what yeah you do. how are we going to the library are we on I- my bike are you on the pegs? That's adorable. Yes, absolutely. I am on the pegs of your bike. I love it. Uh, yeah, and I, I think there's a conversation that Agnes has been wanting to have with Nathan, but she's not quite sure if now's the time because they are frantically trying to reach the library to stop having dream bad it's the times. Best time. Okay. <laughs> okay, so she's <laughs> freaking perched on the, the back of his bike and just being jostled. You get you get around <laughs> like this. This is a terrible way to travel. <laughs> This is when we learned that Nathan is secretly jacked from all the bike riding he does. I love it. He has an eight pack. <laughs> but so uncoordinated, he can't use any of those muscles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's all useless. Look, Nathan, <laughs> yeah. can you stop hitting potholes, please? I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to get a good jump. <laughs> Don't, no jumping. Oh my God. Nathan, roll act under pressure. <laughs> cool. Sparkle. That's bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> we, we take one more point of harm and become unstable. <laughs> oh, no. Killed by bike ride. It is a failure, sir. <laughs> <sighs> uh, I'm not. Freeze the lowest die. It's a one. Cool. Nice. Oh, my God, no. Nice. Oh, wait. That's a minus one, too. Cool. So that was even worse. Uh, nice. Well, the die can't be minus one. So you're, nope. at least you're positive there somehow. Um. I'm not going to hurt you guys, uh, despite so nice. all odds. <laughs> but you will hurt my bike. Exactly. Your bike. I knew it. You hit one of these potholes trying to uh, <laughs> do a cool jump. <laughs> and I think you both kind of get suspended in the air, and the bike keeps going. Uh, and you tumble down. Come you're, back! You're both, <laughs> you're both like uh, pretty cool monster hunters, right? So you're able to land. No. Uh, it's in, in the rules cool way. <laughs> you're mundane but you're still a cool monster hunter um thanks you so you're able to land an, uh, okay not i wouldn't say a cool way agnes maybe nathan agnes no. lands cat like and then nathan goes 
but your bike uh, flies just keeps going off the just road, keep, never stops, and into a, <laughs> into a creek. <laughs> okay. Agnes helps Nathan up and then watches his bike <laughs> float down. down the creek. You can see that the tire is bent anyway, so even if you got it, it's not great. Let me just go ahead and cross off bicycle from uh, character sheet. That was quick. Well, let's what just do you walk. want to tell me? Let's just walk. We'll get you a bike later. Um, Nathan, how long have we been working together now? Hmm. You tell me. I don't know. I've had, I've been hit in the head and gone through <laughs> demon portals and. What three months? Three to nine months, yeah, totally. Three to nine, three to nine months—a <laughs> big, a big, uh, a big period of time. It's been a while, yeah, yeah, and yeah. You know, believe it or not, Nathan, it's been long enough for me to know that eventually, if you are lucky enough to live long enough, you are going to get good at this. I hope so. I'd love to live long enough. And if you are going to live long enough to get good at this, there's a couple things mm -hmm. that you need to know. And the first thing is something you probably already know, which is that if you keep doing this job, eventually it will kill you. I'm sure you already know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. The second thing that you need to know, Nathan, is that I'm not a good person. And that's okay. But I'm pretty sure you are. And as long as I can keep you alive long enough for you to get good, I think we're going to be okay. You still got that amulet on? The powerful magic one that was supposed to end the world that we found and I can't keep and you can? I think I landed on it. But I still have it. <gasps> it's it's broken, and out comes Finamundi. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no, I'm just kidding. No. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Listen, I I didn't give it to you just because it's heavy and ugly, and I don't want to wear it. I, so heavy. It is, and I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, Nathan, I I can't have stuff like that. So, yeah, I just I just needed you to know that. I think you're a good person. I'm not, and I don't have time right now to tell you why. But you live long enough, and I will. Well, like, you're a real good teacher. Thanks, kid. All right, let's get the lead out. We got places to be. Yeah, let's go. As the Marta bus pulls up, that goes straight to, <laughs> straight to the university library. The bus driver says, did yeah, you break your bike again, bus. Nathan? <laughs> <laughs> he knows you by name. <laughs> yeah. We'll go back to Camilla. Where, where are you headed next? Uh, I was going to meet them at the library. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, I think at this point you can probably meet them there um, just fine. So you all arrive at the library of a local university. Um, go sports team. Go sports. <laughs> yeah, the um, there is a sports game today. Big sports. The cheerleaders are all saying, "Go team." Go sports. We love <laughs> sports. Throw in, throw in it, throw it fast. The faster you throw, <laughs> the better you go. Sports, sports, sports. Bis boom ba. We're gonna I know. Here for like ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing uh, like ten Ians all as cheerleaders. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> also, I'm saying this, but but with like blonde, like a blonde pigtail wig. <laughs> for some reason, I don't know why. I could arrange this. Um, so you enter the library, <laughs> and your friend, um. Not your friend, but your acquaintance, I'll say. Tracy, her name's Tr Teresa. Teresa Dooley is working in the library today. And, uh, yeah, she's the one that you hope can help you find some uh, some magical tomes of the legitimate variety. Okay. 
yeah, I think Agnes knows her way around and uh, walks straight up and just, hey, Teresa, long time no see. Oh, Agnes. Yeah. Hey, it's been a while. How are you doing, sweetheart? I'm good. Uh, been a couple decades. Uh, I, I, uh, I need some help in a rush, actually. Um, you got oh. the time? Oh, a rush. Well, let me just tell you a quick story no, then. No, no, Teresa. I will come back. Let's have tea, like, tomorrow. Yeah? I love tea. Yeah, later, though, we will have... T you love oolong tea. I remember. Oolong. It's my favorite yep. tea. I know it is. I know it is. My guy. Okay, so... Hi, I'm Nathan. Yeah, oh, Nathan. Aren't you just the cutest little thing? All right, I didn't want to be rude by not introducing you, but I knew what was going to happen. No, Teresa... <laughs> <laughs> She's pinching. She's pinching his cheek. His cheek. What a sweet man you are. Thank you so much. Nathan, my name's Therese Dooley. Yeah, all right, so this is Nathan, and yes, he's adorable, we all know. This is Cam. This is Cam. Hi, Cam. So, yep. What's and your so favorite sort of tea? I don't drink tea. Oh. She but can't do caffeine. Sort of an odd one, Agnes. Would never sleep. I've got herbal varieties that are decaffeinated. Teresa. That, that, that is very kind of you. I, I would love to maybe have Agnes ask you a couple of questions, though, and then we could perhaps try that. Okay. All fine. right, so... Fine. Okay, look, I... <laughs> Damn it, Teresa. Okay, she reaches out. Holds her face. <laughs> Teresa? Yeah? <laughs> I need help finding resources on a monster or, or creature that can access people while they're sleeping, that, that can hurt them while they're asleep. Why don't you roll plus charm to manipulate someone? Oh, good. Because she's... I think that's my, this is my dub stat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So one of my dice is frozen on four. The other one's a one, and I have a minus one. So that's a four. I forgot to mention, once you've rolled, your dice is unfrozen. So, and then it gets frozen oh. again at some point. But okay. this I don't was know my if you've used frozen. that yet. Okay, cool, cool. No, uh, no this is not a... Nightmare on Elm Street. Maybe there's a little barb here, Dixon. Maybe you're right, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stay away. It's so hard. I love barb so much. Barb. Thank you so for the four. bits, Milky Cartons. Thank you, Bay. Uh, you rolled a four, you said? I rolled a four. Or my, my frozen dice was a four. I got a one. Oh. My tough is minus one, so now it's a four. Oh. oh, I have a plus one forward, but it's still just a five now. Dear, things aren't like they were back when you were in school, Agnes. What's, your, what's Agnes's last name? That's a very good question. Uh, redacted. It's hidden. It's redacted. That's... Redacted. Have bonus content it. for later. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. Check out the Patreon. <laughs> Just you know, sign up if you want to find out her last name. I don't know. I'll get back to you. Um, yeah, I, I know it's been a long time. Um, you really can't help us out. Uh, you and your little friends, you you did a lot of, of gathering books and of all sorts of strange subjects but i we just don't have we don't have those sorts of in, interesting types like you and your friends were yeah well that's probably for the best isn't it all right well thank you for your time you mind if i look around anyway sure well Agnes is going to see if she can find anything in that, that section that she used to know so well that has all of the uh, occult books. Sure. Dre, did you take an experience? <gasps> no, thank you. Yes, mark experience. Thank you, Cap. Cap, guardian of experience. The tanks, tanks. <laughs> I'm used to failure. <laughs> um, I'll still let you investigate a mystery, but the answers are going to be much less specific because of this fictional situation. 
This makes sense. I feel like this person wouldn't like Agnes very much. Uh, oh my gosh, Snake Eyes. Well, do, 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 do. Do, do, do. I find nothing. <laughs> I feel like I find my feet. Yeah, <laughs> I think that you all spend the day looking for information, and yeah, like Teresa said, there's basically nothing here. There's um, co collegiate books. There's books about the occult, but you can tell it's all bullshit. You know, it's nothing of substance, uh, not in the way that you know real magic. You know, there's real magic and there's fake magic. Um, so I think that, yeah, you all spend the day looking. You find nothing. You return to work. Sam's holding down the fort. Uh, you go through the rest of your day, and I think that eventually you just resign yourselves to that it's time to go back to bed. Can can I can I pull a retcon? Okay. Since I didn't fail. <laughs> sure. Something can I use oops in the library? Yes. Got to do it once an episode. <laughs> well, you don't. <laughs> I do. I do. It's in my contract. It's like I wish you wouldn't. I'm I'm sniffing around the manga section. It's I'm looking at fun stuff. I'm checking out the DVDs. Yeah, you you find sniffing around the manga section is a terrible sentence I just said, and I take it right back. You, I mean Nathan <laughs> would though, honestly. I'm average, not a creep. <laughs> um, Nathan, you thought you look at the the inevitable part of the. You know, manga sections in, in bookstores, uh, typical bookstores. Go right to left, yeah. Um, nice, yeah. They uh, have a big <laughs> they have a big variety, but then there's a huge chunk of it that is just Naruto books. Obviously. And <laughs> there's, like, uh, some volumes are skipped, but, like, sequentially they're laid out there. And you see one where the little circle where the number typically is, it's blank. And you look in, and there's nothing in it. The pages are totally empty. And so you just decide kind of absentmindedly to take it with you. I put it in my apron. Yeah. I'm not checking it out. And we see it sitting on your bedside <laughs> table as uh, yeah, you just yoink this book. Uh, we see it sitting on your bedside table as you begin to fall asleep uh, tonight. And I want you, Nathan, to roll my custom move, Dream of Your Dreams. You need to roll plus weird. That is 11 minus 1 is a 10. Oh, wow. Holy shit. That's great. Ah, frick. One of those was supposed to be frozen. It's a... Oh, no. Oh, no. You're going to dream six. of, like, your favorite ice cream. A, <laughs> <laughs> a six? Yes, with the frozen... The one was frozen on a one, so, yes. it's mm. uh, It went from an 11 to a six. What a <laughs> that's, tragedy. That's huge. Uh, we are... Uh, we're, so you begin to fall asleep. We're about to go to ad break. I, I, real hate to, good. I hate to get real serious right before the ad break, so I'm going to try to stall here. Let me ask you a stalling question. <laughs> the I rolled Snake Eyes last time. Is one of those frozen now? Yes. Cool. Yeah. Welcome to my life. But Very Nathan, nice. Nathan, you no longer have a frozen one. That's nice, right? Cool. Mm. Sure. Camilla, are you frozen on something right now? Not right now. I don't think. But if you want to freeze something, now's the die roll to do it because the last one, the last thing I rolled was a five and a four. But that the four was the or the five was frozen, right? That's right. Or were neither of those frozen? Ah, the five oh, was frozen no, from the previous that... roll. No, oh. this oh, was my roll after. Oh. And your four. So one frozen. of them should be frozen. The four is frozen then. Okay. Yeah, your lowest. Nice. Yeah, the worst one. Uh, okay, so here's what happens in Nathan's dream. Nathan, you are at work. 
<laughs> you look up so cute. and there's sick you're not sleeping at work <laughs> uh, no i'm working now i was started sleeping you go i'll do my pantomime <laughs> you look up and there's six tickets Ugh, six tickets is exactly the number of tickets that stresses you out five is busy but you can cook five orders and clear the board in no time six you're in the weeds you reach into the bowl where you keep the freshly cracked eggs prepped for service. God damn it! It's empty. You start cracking some <laughs> eggs, glancing up at the ticket rail. Eight tickets? What the f- You start cooking the eggs. Your brow is accumulating sweat. Sam! What- Sam! <laughs> <laughs> what were those egg temps? Sunny side up. Twelve tickets?! You turn around and every seat in the Ah! house is taken. Agnes is nowhere in sight. Sam is flipping his waffle irons while he hums hums a friendly tune. The dining room is much larger than it usually is. In fact, you can't even see where it ends. Infinite customers lined up everywhere. What do you do? Fetal position. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I'm gonna run away. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to try to run out the front door. Yeah. Uh, roll back under pressure. Can I use panic button? <laughs> I feel like this is the perfect time. Yeah. What is? Uh, when you what need is... an escape. When you need an escape, name the route you'll try. And roll plus sharp, and then things happen depending on the roll. Perfect. Let's get it. I love this move. I do not have a frozen dice yet currently. Let's party. That's a... That's what I have to yell at every time I roll. Um, That's plus sharp, which is plus one. So that is an eight. I'm sorry. That is a nine. Doesn't matter. (laughs) Okay. Um, yeah, that's a mixed success. Tell me what happens on a mixed success for Panic Button. On a 7 or 9, you can go or stay. But if you go, it's going to cost you. You leave something behind or something comes with you. I would imagine I, if I get to pick, it's going to be the second one because we're in a dream. Meta, 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 meta. Say that. What is the one you're choosing? Some, leave something, something comes behind. with you. Something comes with you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that you escape the stove, but now you're out in this infinite crowd. You're just kind of like waiting. It's like you're at a, a packed concert and you're trying to get closer to the stage, except you're trying to you know get away. It's like you're at a, a packed concert and you're trying to get to the bathroom, basically, is what this is kind of like. Oh, no, I have to pee so bad. No one wants to move. Uh, you You have to pee so bad. So bad. Um, I don't have to act for that one. There are, there are people, uh, all around you, and they're the ones that see you. They turn. You're like everyone around you is turning towards you and trying to inhibit your progress. Um, and you we need to hydrate. Oh, good. Thanks. That helps so much, Jason. <laughs> really incredible. Now you have to be even worse. Excellent. <laughs> and you. You're wading through the sea. People are turning towards you, and they're. It's like in, it's like in Game of Thrones when uh, the 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 queen lady uh, has to walk naked yep. through the streets. Like they're all like saying shame at you. Uh, <laughs> they're all like pointing their fin- fingers and they're being like, "Wait, you're not naked." <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> That's weird because I went to sleep naked, so it's weird that I'm clothed in the dream. <laughs> uh, and they're all like, uh, they're all being like, "Where's my order? Where's my food? Go back there and cook. What are you doing?" <laughs> You're just like being surrounded by all these people, uh, and as you uh, wander off into this crowd, uh, we're gonna go to a break. So. Thank you, everybody. We're going to take like a five-minute break, and we'll... We'll uh, be right back. We'll be right back, indeed. Everybody oh, make Hi! Hello! Miss us? We're back. Better than ever. Now I'm not silent anymore. Cool. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello! 
turn hello. everybody up a little bit. Well, hello. Okay, we're back. Oh no, thank we you. Oh, we missed you, buddy. Don't, don't make us hydrate again. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Do make us hydrate. This I, cap. I can. I'll give you a free hydrate. one. I I'm have, actually gonna. I have infinite same. shrimp coin because I'm. I have the channel. Shrimp you know? daddy. So you can just make us drink water. Oh, Ooh, thank Dixon. you. <laughs> <laughs> do you like my KK slider cup? Mm. I love it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no I'm just kidding. Contrary. This is my Agnes candle. Let's see. I did a bad oh, roll for, dream, for a dream. <laughs> Zero. Thank you, Zero. Zero. Crushing it. This is a good oh time. Gosh. I'm going to mention this at the end of the pod, too, but this is a good time to, to mention that Cap and I will be on Ciro's stream, Ciro Does Stuff, so if you want to click that username there and follow that channel and come see Cap and I, uh, we're going to be in sort of a Monster of the Week game show situation. Um, so that's going to be super fun. Uh, it's going to be with Michael That is Stans. tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow uh very very nervous and excited for that oh johnny from the monsters playbook is going to be there uh he's brilliant uh very much looking forward to that um so yeah i just wanted you guys to know i wanted you all to know about that because you're gonna come need to watch be it there. watch me have a panic attack live on camera <laughs> 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 Ooh, it's like i'll be playing nathan again <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, I think people know that, right? Michael Sands is the is the creator of Monster of the Week, the Monster Daddy, uh, the Monster Daddy, monster the Big Daddy, daddy which I won't monster. call him tomorrow to his face. <laughs> no, I, I, I but might. You should. I might. I might. Hello, Open your heart. Monster think daddy. about the possibility. <laughs> so that's gonna be fun. <sighs> uh, but where do we leave off in this dream? Was Nathan having a really nice, pleasant day by yep. the beach kind of dream? Was that right? That's what's snoozing in the field of daisies. Uh, uh, if you want Nathan's dream, I can give you Nathan's dream, and you can turn it sour because oh. I rolled a bad. No, no, no! You didn't. You didn't get to. You didn't get to be dreaming. You, you are. You're in my nightmare. Oh! If you would have rolled well, you would have been in a dream. But you're in a your nightmare. Beautiful, beautiful nightmare. Um, you don't get a little pleasant salve to this That's fine. situation. That's fine. <laughs> uh, you are being shamed by all of the customers. Oh yeah. Uh, and they're they're wave they're wagging their fingers right at you, and they're disappointed. Uh, but ah, you do ah, you ah. did roll well enough to get away from them. I think that they're just coming, um, so they don't hurt you, but they are coming toward you. Uh, they're all Karens. That's true, Sarah. Ciro. They're all very much Karens. Um, what do you do? I think you are out of the kitchen but not out of the woods so to speak <laughs> I, i'm it's like an infinite restaurant yeah it's just like forever of of waho at, at one point i i find my bike and try to ride on it but the wheel is still bent so it's like wah, 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 fall. <laughs> yeah sure sure yeah. <laughs> Uh, what do I do? Um, that's a great question. I'm going to close my eyes, put my hands over my head, get in a ball, and try to use my sensitive move. Okay. Yeah. Roll plus weird. Cool. Uh, well, it's going to be minus two, so roll minus weird. Because um, I have a minus one in zero, the great and talented zero gave me another minus one. So okay. I'm at minus two to weird. That is a seven minus two is a five. That's not good. I am one away from leveling up if I survive. Uh, yeah, make sure you mark that experience. Uh, Always I do. <laughs> I think you try to get up on your bike and you immediately fall over and you are, these things catch up with you, these, th these things, these people. And <laughs> they start to just kick the... <laughs> <laughs> they start to just kick the crap out of you and they're only gonna do one harm because they're just people but uh they will they're just do yelling their orders and kicking the shit out of me which i think destabilizes <laughs> you again yes uh, so it does rut row uh i'm gonna be merciful and um so kind agnes camilla you are 
dreaming. You are dreaming about being in line for Waffle House or for Waho. That's super weird. Uh, why would you be dreaming this? And then you're at different points in the crowd, and suddenly you see. <laughs> suddenly you see uh, a group, a mob, uh, huddled over and beating the crap out of somebody. Uh, what do you do? <laughs> hey, excuse me. I, I assume it's Nathan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know my yells. You run for it. Yeah, we just, Agnes is like, I think we found him. And <laughs> we just run towards him and start pulling people off him. Okay. Um, you're both helping. I'll let you two decide who's going to protect someone here. Who's got the best tough role. Mine's minus Whichever one. one gets experience. Okay, well, I have a zero, so. That's you. Okay. And Agnes can and I, help out. And one of my dice it. is currently frozen at a four, so. Oh, there you go. That's pretty that good. Oh, yeah, advantage. one of mine's frozen at a one, so you don't want me. Oh, Lord. <laughs> to help you. All right, that is a seven. Okay. Mark experience. No. For protecting me? Oh, yes. protecting sure, Nathan. sure. And I just leveled up. <laughs> no. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, okay, you so you protect me? them okay, but you'll you'll suffer all or some of the harm they're going to get. So you do... If I have the option, I will try and take all of the harm. Yeah, yeah, you're going to take, you're gonna take one Thank harm you. here. Thank you. I'm going to take no harm because I'm fucking immortal. Nice. Do I still have my one harm? You're or fucking does that immortal? Negate? I mean, <laughs> Cam not at present. Was fucking immortal. <laughs> uh, you, you, <laughs> you both are able to yoink Nathan from the herd here, uh, Camille. You take those punches, oh but they kind of glance right off of you. Um, oh, I just wiped my glasses. That's so gross. But what is it, game? Agnes? This has to be your dream, right? Why would I dream about you being beat up on the sidewalk? <laughs> yeah, it's a good point that I have this dream all the time. Yeah, sweetie, this is this is wait, hold on. This is your nightmare? Customer service and doing bad at it is your nightmare? Yeah, at least I'm wearing pants this time. <laughs> at least you are. Um so here, here's the thing, I have another <laughs> I have another custom move here. Um Yay. It's it's called let's get it's called let's get lucid. And all of you I think feel like I, I feel like it makes sense that you would have figured out in the fiction here that you're in a dream. Yeah. That that makes sense to me. This is a pretty absurd dream. Mm -hmm. Um so let's get lucid when you know that you are dreaming and you would like to alter the dreamscape. Uh tell the keeper what you'd like to change, then roll plus sharp. Agnes is in charge of the dreamscape. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, my sharp my sharp is plus two, so your character doesn't know that you're rolling plus sharp though. Oh also Good. Agnes has that frozen one. Oh, right. Maybe I'm not Agnes is no longer in charge of the dreamscape. It's my this, dream. I, Let yeah, me yeah. try. Do it. I currently don't have any minus one, so <laughs> that's good. I All right, I'm gonna squeeze scrambling for the mouse. I'm going to focus real hard, and all I want to try to do is just condense the Waffle House back to normal. Sorry, that's illegal. Condense the Waho back to normal. <laughs> have, and, it, have it be like a normal-sized Waho is what you're saying? Yeah, like, you know, home turf, normal-sized, normal amount of, uh, you know, uh, guests. Sure. I just want to... Make things average. <laughs> oh, wow. plus, just, plus one hey. for Nathan. Got a plus one from Nest yes. Nestnits. Thank you, Nestnits. Thank you, Ness. Thank you. It's the first plus one I've been given tonight. A lot of minus ones. So <laughs> nice of you. Uh, I roll plus sharp. Yes. Wonderful. I have plus two right now. Those both landed outside the box. I need to calm down my rolls tonight. All right, that is nine on the dice plus two is an 11. Very yeah. nice. On a 10 plus, your changes take place. Um, on a seven and nine, the 
dream changes, but you choose one. We'll get to that when it if it happens. Um, yeah, so you suddenly find yourself standing. You blink, and you find yourself standing outside of a normal Waho, a normal no number of customers uh, inside it, and uh, no employees holding down the fort. I should have dreamt up a hospital. I'm in a lot of pain. But we're here. <laughs> Hindsight. Indeed. Okay. Should we get a coffee, have a seat? Try to figure this whole thing out? I wonder if I could drink coffee if I'm dreaming. I think I'm dreaming. So yeah, probably. Wait, are yeah. you two dreaming? I mean, I'm assuming. I... Or did you come to the dream dimension? Be honest with Sam lying. I don't know yet. I mean, I went to sleep, and now I can't imagine why I would dream about you being beat up outside of a giant waho. So I'm assuming I'm in your dream. Let's uh, let's have a couple. Hey, Sam, of are you dreaming? <laughs> Sam's at every waho, right? No, Sam's there. Yeah, I described him just humming and uh, he's enjoying his his shift. He says. Nathan, you just always say the weirdest, <laughs> the weirdest stuff, you silly boy. Uh, and no, of course I'm not dreaming. I'm here at work. I would never sleep on the job. He turns the waffle station. Really can't tell with him. It's so pleasant. Okay, I, we sit down. <laughs> oh, I sure would appreciate it if you get cook some of those eggs. Oh, there's six tickets up in the window. That's that's serious business, buddy. Your bathroom breaks We're over. Taking, or Oh. No. I forgot to go. Okay. Sam, if we could just have... Uh, I don't know why I'm asking this is my dream, but if we could just have a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Uh, why, don't, why don't you read about the situation, Nathan? He tries for a manipulate someone. He gets to read a bad situation. That's never a good sign. <laughs> Uh, six on the dice plus one is a seven. Um, yeah, a seven. That means, sorry, I kicked my computer a little bit. <laughs> you get to hold one. Great. Hmm. Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? The crowd is getting agitated again, though there aren't as many of them. If you don't start making some of these orders, they're going to become violent. Okay, well, you two just come behind the counter with me. I need to work, unfortunately, <laughs> even in my dreams. Yeah, can all we, right. It's a mundane we, dream shit not, right there. Let me not <laughs> dream them away. It's capitalism, I'm baby. Just, okay. All right, uh, Nathan. I, out of curiosity, Cam is going to try to help cook. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. yeah, let's all cook. let's all cook together and try the coffee. This is adorable. Team move. Can I just say all... this is so wholesome and sweet? We're all wearing our three-headed chef shirt, <laughs> <laughs> flipping eggs. Our, our get along this is an odd jersey. Addition to your dream, Nathan. <laughs> yeah, we're all in the same shirt. <laughs> yeah. Do you regularly dream about us wearing a get along shirt, Nathan? I do. I wish we okay, would so get along Cam more. And, Cam and Agnes are in a shirt. This is get along. <laughs> Working out. <laughs> yeah, just you two. <laughs> I feel really close to her right now. Is this usual? <laughs> How many arms are we I just hate to see you two fight. <laughs> we never fight, Nathan. We don't fight. No, like fight other things, not each other. <laughs> I hate to see it. It means I'm in danger anyway. <laughs> okay, we flip eggs frantically. Mm -hmm. We get those orders. Uh, I'm not actually... experimentally at the bacon. <laughs> I'm actually not going to make you any of you roll here. This is um, a team effort, a well-executed plan. It's too cute to have to roll. <laughs> uh, you, it says it makes it very clear in the Monster of the Week source book that if the hunters create a well-executed plan, and uh, thank you, Cap, and they um, and it's and it's smart and it and it and it, it makes sense. Sometimes it doesn't require a roll. Sometimes the monster is just defeated. So uh, the monster of quelling this crowd's rage is indeed defeated. Uh, great job. 
montage breakfast montage this is what this show mm. is all about welcome to shrimp and crits waho title card this is when we f- see the title card for the first time this is one long movie <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> um, nine hours in but the, <laughs> name generation I'm so, I'm so 69 first time in the chat nice. breakfast yes yes indeed uh, it's breakfast time uh, oh man praise hell praise hell this is making me so hungry. This, <laughs> this all food sounds so good. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm definitely making hash browns after this. Yeah, oh my I'm gosh. super hungry. What's up with I'm that? <laughs> you got to stop with the food intros. The uh, Never. I will never. Never. So the sea of pleased breakfast enjoyers, um, they sit down with their food now. They've all been fed. Uh, so uh, the crowd that was standing has now sat and sort of parted in a way, um, just the way the register is set up. That's just kind of how um, how this visual works from the three of you looking out at the store. And you see, in through the front door walks yet another vampire. Uh, a very familiar woman. Her name is Flo. And she says, Cam, it's very nice to see you again. Nathan, is this part of your dream? I'm so confused. Is this still my dream? I see you're working, but don't you think it's time to get back to a different sort of work? She just keeps leaning over more and more. I, I, Agnes, Agnes leans into Nathan. Do you dream about Flo? That vampire? No. Vampire Do you feel some kind of way? <laughs> no. He does. Are you sure? He does a lot. It's <laughs> Flo, really shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is okay. What kind of work do you suggest? <laughs> Darling, the vampire <laughs> sort of work. I'm retired. <laughs> That's what they all say, sugar. I don't know if you're welcome here. We can decline service to anyone for any reason. This is the great state of Georgia, I assume. <laughs> <laughs> I assume. <laughs> well, I can decide not to keep my spear put away for any reason to anybody. And no, I'm this is definitely hey, my dream. Use hey, this Cam, dialogue is awful. Use, use it to stab you or something. Cam, do you want me to shoot her? I can shoot her. It, it's, uh, I mean, it sounds like the f- kind of fun thing we could do in a dream. Sure, let's do it. Woohoo! I love it. Although, I, I would like to try, and if she's pulling out her spear, I think just experimentally Cam wants to try to change the dream. Okay, what are you trying to change it to? I want to turn her spear into a uh, big, long, uh, frozen-looking sunflower. (laughs) I love that. That's so fun. Yes, roll. Uh, Let's get lucid, which is plus sharp. There's literally a sun at the end. That would be helpful. Oh, that is an 11 on the dice. Yeah. All right, freeze that lowest number freeze the lowest all right yeah i think as she reaches to pull her spear out i'm going to say i don't think that's what you should bring to this sort of fight really and when she pulls it out it's a uh, all blue tone walk-in world <laughs> sunflower you mean a moonflower moonflower <laughs> moon vegetable and it goes boy <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear, that's embarrassing. That never happens, I promise. That's what they all say. Damn it. I hate it when you use my lines against me. <laughs> um, Yeah, it works. She is unarmed, and she's still kind of coming towards you, though. Uh, do you want to try and talk her down, or do you want to fight her? Well, now that she's just armed with a flower, I'd feel bad shooting her, so let's, <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> Flo, I think whatever it is that you're here for, we can just chat about it. 
I don't think anything needs to be lit on fire the same way it was last time. Flo, are you asleep right now? That's a good question. That's a very strange thing to say to someone who's threatening you. We're all dreaming. What? And if you're here, you either went to the dream dimension, which I'm pretty sure is real, or you're a figment of my imagination. I'm dreaming? What's That's the what last I'm asking thing you. Are you asking me if you're dreaming? <laughs> Uh, no, I, I'm i being convinced by Camilla. Camilla, why don't you roll manipulate someone with your dark manipulator? That's what it's called, right? Yes. Dark, dark negotiator. negotiator. Nice. Negotiator. <laughs> dark negotiator. Uh, that is a seven on the dice plus two, so a nine. Nine. Killing that it. means... Crushing it. Yeah. yeah, you're killing it. Um, They'll do it, but... Only if you do something right now to show that you mean it. Um, I'm going to reach into the the walk-in here. I'm going to pull out two of the blood bags that we keep there. I'm just going to, you know, kind of claw the, the corner off one and hand it to her, one for me, and just sit down. Shock on it? <laughs> yeah, crack in. Cracking open a boy with the cold ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's how this Holy session shit. started. That's the name of this episode. So good. I'm writing it down. <laughs> Camilla, for the last time, you don't you don't work here, darling. You can't just reach it. Let me get. I'll get it for you if you if you just ask me. Gosh darn. That is very nice, Sam. I'm sorry. I was trying to make a gesture. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. I, you know, like I said, no hard feelings. I didn't say that, but I'm saying it now. <laughs> uh and yeah i think that flo sits down and <laughs> enjoys this this boy <laughs> the gold one. should we should is it blood is it even real blood it's in my dream should we be drinking blood no it nathan just friend. drink your coffee i'm so confused Ta- deep breathe Do you want the... to try some since you, we're in a dream you can have a sip I don't of mine know. if you want nathan what kind of shit are you dreaming man <laughs> Nathan, if you bite me and after no. I bite you, then you can be one of me. No, Nathan, just drink your I water, don't... sweetheart. Mm. Okay. It's milk. <laughs> <laughs> just drink your milk. Gross. No, I will not have a character that just drinks milk. Ch- it could be chocolate milk. <laughs> it's vanilla Coke, the best drink at Waho. <laughs> Gross. Ooh, bold stance. <laughs> Uh, coffee's the best drink at Waho, actually. <laughs> I don't remember what I was doing. I was letting the vampires we're, we're talk sitting, and fiddling. down with Flo. So, what are what are you? Why are you here? I'm here because you work for me, Camilla. Because I excuse me. Yeah, you work for me. Yeah, we're we're now. I think either in Cam's nightmare or my nightmare, but I don't think this is my nightmare. I think my nightmare is way worse. I think this is Cam's nightmare now. I'm your boss, Camilla. Maybe it is my I'm nightmare. I'm self-employed. What? Why am I dreaming? This? The taxes are hell, but yeah. Okay. Obvious question. What does she do for you? We do all kinds of bad stuff. Yeah, I hate this. All right. <laughs> Agnes, I'm going to curl up and try to fall asleep in your lap and see what happens. If I fall We're... asleep in here, will I wake up or go into another dream? I don't know. Worth a shot, I guess. I'm she also bet... very injured, so I'm just going to lay down. <laughs> she cuts his hair. <laughs> oh yeah. The... While you're having this intense conversation. <laughs> I will say I will say that's a thank you for reminding me, Cap. Nathan takes another harm since it's been a while of you. Oh, no, no. Okay, cool, can cool, I cool. try to can I try to heal him then? I guess because it's going poorly. Cutting my head. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I guess this flow he- talks healing... to Camilla. Then yeah, that's healing head pets. Oh, but I have such <laughs> I have a mind. I have a one of my dice is frozen on one. Okay, it's cool. It's weird. <laughs> no, oh, I'll let not... you know. I am two away from death right now. <laughs> I so. understand that. <laughs> um, okay, so that's a. Uh, Four on the dice plus two is a six. I don't suppose anyone can, can help I, me. Yeah, can I help in some you way? You pet Nathan too. 
I just absentmindedly also petting Nathan's head. <laughs> Healing affection. Sure. <laughs> Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but we're in a dream, so who cares? We're in a dream. We just need Are to. Are we? <laughs> I just tell him reassuring stuff. God, I hope so. Okay. Uh, yeah, she's just she's just petting him and tries to help him recover from all the Thank you so much. all the emotional damage he's taken in the stream. The magical bad day just help. So that's a full success. Yeah, ten is what you said. Uh, no, it's a mixed success. Oh, though. we got it up to a seven. Well, then give me a glitch. <laughs> oh right, yes. <laughs> Um, hmm. They're all bad. Um, <laughs> the mag. Hmm. The effect is weakened. Um. Sorry, bud. I don't know how to do that because then it would be half a. I mean, it could be the effect is of short duration. Yeah, I mean, I don't want Nathan to die. So nice. I mean, I either one of those would kind of negate what you're doing here is the issue because okay. you're healing him for one. I can't weaken that any less than yeah. one, right? And then, a short yeah. duration that means it comes. The harm is going to come back to him before too yeah. long. Okay. Um. As a fan of your characters. You want us to live. Uh, okay, it has a problematic side effect. Yeah, that's, what I, that's the one Super. I wanted. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I bet it is. I doing. bet it is. Um, I think that Flo is talking, is continuing to talk to Camilla um, while you're doing this, Agnes, and you hear, you start to just tune it out after a while. You're trying to concentrate on your magic. Um, Camilla is kind of helping helping you along anyway while uh, she participates in this conversation. But at some point, the drowned out drone of Camilla's I'm sorry, not Camilla's uh, Flo's very annoying voice um, begins to wash out totally, and you hear rather than her voice, you hear sort of like a. Like this loud, like. That was impressive. Hey, That's thank good. You. Thank you. I don't know what it is, but it's Seriously. good. And you all turn around to see Flo's not there. And neither cool. is Sam, and neither is the restaurant. You mm -hmm. see a massive beetle with a strange little proboscis, and its wings are fluttering rapidly. You hear this... And it gets louder and louder and louder and louder until... You all wake up. Do I know that I thing? Knew if I went to sleep again, I would wake up. I'm figuring <laughs> this shit out. Uh, ah. In the morning, you all get to Waho. Just as the last two days, you're exhausted as if you haven't slept a wink. Uh, but this time, you're filled with um, uh, a sense of, of hey. sort of of sort of knowing what's going on. Uh, you've seen this massive uh, bestial creature. And to answer your question, Agnes, uh, no. But you certainly have, as the expert, I'm sure, you you didn't pick, like, library or mystical library as one of your... Uh, uh, you I have, have magical laboratory. You have a laboratory. Okay, so you can create things. It's for casting spells, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, if you head straight back to the library... Um, I would say that you could potentially get a good read on what sort of creature this is just now that you've seen uh, seen it. Um, so no library, magical laboratory where I can create spells. I have an armory where I have um, I can look for a special weapon that would be relevant or and I have a the I have a haven. Right. Is, those are part, those are those two things are part of okay. your haven. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying or, if you uh, if you go back to the school spell. library now that you have oh, more context, okay. you might have better luck finding what sort of creature this is. That seems like a good idea. Let's do that. Uh, but you're back at Waho for now, unless you want to head straight there. All right. Well, how did I'm assuming we all dream the same thing? 
I hope not. It was embarrassing. Seem very stressful, Nathan. Yep. I sure are. I could be dreaming right now. I'm already stressed. You're not. You're not dreaming. Great. I don't think. I don't know if that helps. Am I wearing pants? Are you wearing pants? Are you sure. Are you wearing? <laughs> He's not. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right. Everybody's wearing pants. Uh. All right, gang. Here's a problem. Uh huh. So we saw that beetle. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Pretty sure we could go do some research and try to figure out what it is. To fight it again, I think we're going to have to go to sleep again. And to go to sleep again, I have a feeling we're going to end up in my head. And we don't Just want that. Reason. <laughs> we don't want that. The Keeper is dancing. I don't want to do whatever it is he's dancing about. <laughs> <sighs> let, let me just put it this way. If if we have to go into my head tonight, let's just get the hell out of it as quickly as we can, huh? Yeah. Yes. Do we... Third time's the charm. Mm. I am concerned that, I mean, I, I suppose we can get out as quickly as possible, but it feels like this is just kind of at least chipping away at Nathan. I'm not well. <laughs> you don't you don't look well. Could I could and I have I unstable? A great deal in of my that is routine. my fault and I'm sorry, but I think we I need know, to figure out a way fault. to stop this. Uh you can yeah. certainly unstable here, yeah, in this in this say we'll say you're being patched up as we as we have this combo. Yeah, cool. can can we can I heal too? I'm I'm not unstable, but I'm at four. Um, I will say that yes, maybe we have like a. It's like in high school when girls braid each other's hair, except you're I'm patching each other's hair. terrible wounds. Okay, first <laughs> off, that was extreme. The, the hair braiding was a very healing experience. Uh, but so is this. Okay, Beautiful. I was never very good at it, but but it's very healing. The people who could do the French braids? Oh, those were the people that you wanted to hang out with. <laughs> um, all right, so are we heading to the library? Is everybody going? Let's go. I'm going to stay at Waho House. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to stay at Waho. <laughs> this is the only time I've ever done this. My lawyer, Why am I yeah, messing my, up so bad today? My lawyers the lawyers are, are looking at me, and they are not happy. I <laughs> wish we could afford lawyers. <laughs> Donate. I love the idea that the lawyers are very small, like the road for Pocket Rachi. lawyers. Please, hey, that. please subscribe like to the channel so we can maybe one day afford lawyers. Get sued. <laughs> They're coming for us as we speak. A restaurant. Um, yeah, That's is, three strikes tonight. Damn. Will Cam, will Cam go with Agnes? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think Cam knows um, just like going back to this library is very stressful and Agnes doesn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, I, on the way there, I am going to, out of my bag, I guess, it feels weird to have Camilla carry a, a purse, but I think she does. Um, I'm going to pull the tome that I got from Ferendra uh, back, in, back in Fantasy World and um, just kind of quietly pass it over to Agnes and say, I thought that might interest you yeah um yeah thank oh, you and i wonder if maybe it has something that would help yeah yeah um yeah thanks that was really thoughtful i'll uh i'll look it over um thanks and yeah, Agnes will look it. wasn't yeah mm -hmm. Oh, you awkwardly started talking at the same time. It's so cute. <laughs> Go ahead. The librarian wasn't terribly helpful last time. Would you would you like me to push her a bit? Oh, push like push her, push her? Um No, downstairs. no, like the, 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 the Oh the your thing. thing. The, yeah. Yeah. That would honestly probably be a real good idea because um 
well, you know the story, and the, I don't think she likes me very much, and I don't blame her. So, uh, yeah, I think that's a good idea. That was a long time ago, and if she's still... That's on her. Thanks. But yeah, if you could put the whammy on her, that'd be great. Let's figure out what the hell this thing is so we can kill it. All right. I would really like to before Nathan disappears before our eyes. Yeah. What? I'm getting kind of fond of him, so... <laughs> Aww. So, Camilla, what do you do as you approach Teresa? Um, I think I'm just going to ask Agnes to kind of follow me in, but like at a distance where I can go talk to Teresa real quick. And uh, I'll just walk up to her and say, Hi, I was hoping you could help me find something. Oh, you're the weird one who doesn't like the tea. <laughs> I've actually decided I am very interested in the tea, but... What would make that much better? And I'm going to turn on the uh, the old uh, mental dominion move. Cool. Uh, which Rem I do have to roll for. Remind me what it says. Roll plus charm. Uh, when you gaze into a normal human's eyes and exert your will over them, roll plus charm on a 10 plus hold three. On a seven to nine hold one, you may spend your hold to give them an order. Regular people will follow your order, uh, whatever it is. Hunters can choose whether they do it or not. And if they do, they mark experience. So she, she looks into your eyes and says, I'd like you to try my favorite oobloh. It's <laughs> <That's> horrifying. <laughs> roll, why don't you roll? Oh. Okay, uh, that is a seven on the dice plus two. Okay. So that is a nine. Very good. I just needed the one hold. I'm going to say where the frozen dice situation has worn off, so don't worry about that. <laughs> okay. Um, warmed up. So, yeah, we, yeah we're back. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, what do you tell her to do? Uh, I'm just going to say we're looking for information on a creature that can affect dreams. Where could I look for something like that? Oh, I... take me take me to the the source that I can I can examine. I'd have to unlock the room where they locked away all the scary books. And she and she That's fine, I'll go with you. And she takes you back to the scary book room. Please tell me it just says scary book room. Somebody it's... took like a label maker. Yep, just says scary book room in like <laughs> shaky old lady handwriting. Like cursive but Excellent. messy handwriting. Stephen okay. King, Stephen King, Stephen King. Uh, Agnes <laughs> follows along behind. John Green is in here for some reason. Don't know <laughs> All right. Um, and I'll just kind of wave Agnes through. Cool. I, I, I come in. Agnes, why don't you roll investigate a mystery? I'm going to give you... Um, I'm going to give you plus one shit i mean i feel like i'm gonna give you i wouldn't i never really do this i'm gonna give you plus two forward hell yeah just because this okay. is like hey guys big, yeah this is big you you did you did big good <laughs> it did big good it's like big magic good. but big good. good did good i do stuff. big good and what am i doing i'm investigating mystery ah yeah, yeah yes 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 all right okay so that's a seven on the dice plus two and then investigate a mystery is plus sharp so that's the total success hell yeah okay so investigate a yes. mystery amazing uh you're gonna uh, you just get to hold mm -hmm. two on that so you get to ask two of the questions what sort of creature is it ah what a good yes. question uh yes. this is a dream weevil Ooh. hate that uh, a dream weevil is a creature a, a bug that uh, feeds on your dreams. Okay. It attaches itself right. to you, and it feeds on your dreams. I'm giving you a lot of information here. I appreciate it. Because you uh, did big good. Yes. <laughs> you did big good. <laughs> what can hurt it? Yes. What can hurt it? You need to find it in the dream. You need to basically, like... In mechanical terms, you have that that move to alter the dream. Um, 
you need to get it in a place where it is vulnerable mm. uh, in the context of altering the dream. Um, cool. Whether right. that's through that move or through magic, up to you. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, I think Agnes and Camilla just like pour over whatever whatever the relevant text is. Um, <laughs> the library are just drooling <laughs> <laughs> behind you. <laughs> and I think I think like being in this room by all these books, like Cam, like Agnes is kind of like shaking, trying to go through all of these books. Every so often, you just stabilizing hand on your on your back. Aww. All right. Without really even thinking about it. Cute. All right. So we get we get that information and get out of there before the whammy wears off. Okay. Need a jump cut. I'm just taking pictures. With <laughs> Such a total shift coming at you right now. Nathan, what? <laughs> Excellent. What have you been up to in this in this time? Amazing. I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> I remember, Sir Nathan. I remember it well. I am preparing for battle with Waffle House items. I am making a Freddy glove out of an of glove, and I'm duct taping a bunch of knives to it. What? <laughs> you have to go to sleep. I don't know how the dream shit yeah, works. Yeah. All I know is a glove with knives in it in a dream is very good. <laughs> I... I am putting it. skillets under my apron for armor so when I get kicked in the gut by a hundred people, it doesn't hurt me. Oh my god, no. Are you using it. the uh, laboratory the, that's in the lair? The, um, I don't know maven? it's there, Ian. Oh, no, I'm god. using duct tape and you... knives and an elf club. <laughs> you know there's an armory, probably. <laughs> that's he, not he very to get mundane of me. <laughs> We keep, so we the elf glove doesn't come off. I am duct taping it to my forearm. Okay. Good. You're I've gonna got wear a Freddy it to hand. Bed? Yes, I'm going to sleep in all You're of this so that blood. I go into Full the dream knives. fully prepared. Perfect. I am picturing sleeping on a cast iron <laughs> skillet and going, just waking up miserable. I'm already miserable. I am. I'm so close to death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going in prepared. Last but not least. Steel bucket with eye holes just to get the full Sir Nathan experience. <laughs> and Aww. then I lay down and I go to bed in the back of the in Waffle, the waffle house. house. Ready. Okay. <laughs> we, have, we have a sleepover at Waffle House. <laughs> yeah, Agnes Camilla. You... We can't get, yeah, we can't get him on the phone. We just go back to the Waffle House and find him in there. You get back to you get back to Waho and Sam says, "Ah, you're just <laughs> y'all. This is y'all st- kind of thing. You're gonna have to go." He was singing line. montage music and duct taping <laughs> something to his arm. And you find you find him sleeping in uh, in the back room, and he's kind of like scratching my face. <laughs> he's like moving in his dreams. Um, yeah, oh, he's he's so cute he's, when okay. he tries to have armor. <laughs> oh, he's oh, having a dream. This, this cannot be good if he is in a dream without us. We have to go to sleep right now. He starts uh, spontaneously uh, bleeding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, uh, 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 okay. Uh, Agnes like grabs a, I don't know, <laughs> a guitar pick. Like, <laughs> you know, just go to. Huh? Yeah. What? Yeah. Do you, do you trust me? Uh. Yeah. Go to sleep. I'm going to use uh, uh, mental dominion. Okay. Yeah, she goes with it. Wow. No hesitation. Experience. No hesitation. Yeah, I don't think you need to roll if if it's not like a... If there's like that... a choose, choose but fail to save kind of thing. Yeah, I, th- I feel like that's kind of what happens here. Yeah. So, yeah. What do you do, Camilla? I mean, I'm going to try to go to sleep, but there's no... Th- it just... Nobody can just drop off like that. So I'm just Of course you hang upside down. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna hook my legs over something and like hang upside down. Yeah. <laughs> and the little um the walk in vampires kind of like curiously skitter up to you and they're like 
There's yeah. one like I'm in the crook to... of my arm, also they're, sleeping. They're becoming very cute. I'm becoming very attached to these. <laughs> yeah, I think they need like, a little plushy one. <gasps> um, whoa, so yeah, no, I think whoa. I think I am going to just like conk out in the in the puppy pile. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I, th- I think you were like sleeping. Agnes just went boom, like fell down right yep. on top of Nathan. Catch you and just like put you kind of oh on the other side of Nathan from the knifey off glove. Good. Actually, I'm going to be. I'm going to go between you guys with the knifey off glove. Good. That's, yes. This is a very cute episode. <laughs> everyone's cooking together, and then everyone's Can't sleeping to in the back play. together. Uh, somebody draw this. Place. Oh my God. So <laughs> as everybody falls asleep, eventually, certainly Camilla falls asleep. Mm-hmm. Uh, Agnes, it's time to see what kind of dream you're having tonight. Why don't you roll plus weird? Yes, let's. You got this. Okay. Uh, that's eight plus two. Or sorry, yeah, eight plus two. Ten. Okay. Tell Thank me what God. you're dreaming about. Uh, and you get to pick two from the list. The list is, again, uh, either plus one ongoing through the, for, through the whole dream. The other hunters are with you. From the start, or you know you're dreaming from the start. Other hunters are with me, and we know we're dreaming. Wow, battle time! Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Where am I? And it's is it's not a bad dream. It's just a dream dream. However, whatever you want it to be, that sort of dream. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, you could be dreaming about, if you're, like, ready to get this done, you could be dreaming mm-hmm. about the weevil is there, you're fighting it kind of deal. Yeah, I, I, think, I think she is I think she is dreaming that they are in the break room of the Waho, which is, like, where the big chest of weapons is that's, like, hidden under a table. There's, like, a tablecloth, and if you pull it out, there's, like, this big, like, archaic chest of weapons, and it's open. Um, and she's dreaming that they're, like, gearing up with, you know, trying to find, like, whatever thing that they need. Um, and then you can see, like, outside the open door, it's not the Waho. It's, like, it is, like, an outdoor place where this creature would be. Okay. Hell yeah. Um, you're facing off against this giant beetle its wings are fluttering it is in the air um it's looking at you with this vacant you know i don't know in the way that giant bugs look like aliens like just like totally uh, off-putting and strange emotionless um what do you do um can i uh can i roll plus weird to see if i have a special weapon Ooh, yeah let's uh that's going to be um, I suppose let's get lucid, which is actually plus sharp. Okay. Don't worry, mm-hmm. Agnes. I brought this. Uh, <laughs> it's just I've your ter- it's just your hand because it didn't come. With <laughs> Damn <you>. it! <laughs> okay, so that's a four plus two six. So. Oh, that's a miss. Mark experience. Okay, good. I level up. Mm-hmm. Is that a thing we can help with? Or... Yeah, or is, want, is it a helpable level? action? How do I you think help it's kind her? Of fun if we don't. How do you? Yeah, I don't know how you help her alter the dream yeah. if you don't know in what it, she's doing in her brain space. That's I think so it's true. kind of. I think it's kind of fun if we fail, honestly. It's the story of my life. Uh, Nathan, would you like to be wearing your crazy weird oven mitt? <laughs> yeah, that's why I built it. Well, then roll plus sharp, my guy. Let's get lucid. Okay. Seven, no, eight on the dice, plus one is a nine. A nine, that's good. Okay, sorry, I was zoning out for a second. A nine's good. Uh, a nine is good. Choose one. <laughs> uh, your change takes place. You have your special ass-kicking oven mitt, uh, but... My Freddy fingers. Your Freddy fingers. You need to choose one. You forget that you're dreaming and must act under pressure to use this move again. Or the dream changes you. Lose an item, ability, or aspect of yourself until the dream is over. Keeper's choice. Can I, oh, okay. I was about to say, can I lose my cowardice? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Turns into Sir Nathan. <laughs> I don't. What were the ones that weren't lose something? Uh, I forget. I'm in a dream. That's fine. Yeah, that's totally fine. Totally fine. No worries. 
I don't know if I, I didn't know I was in a dream before. It's all the same to me. <laughs> Dimensions, dreams. <laughs> I could die in anything, so there's no stakes. I like the idea of you being stakes. like, I don't remember what you said, but you're like, and see, I have this, and then it's just your naked yeah. hand, and then you're like, <laughs> shake you it, shake and it's claws, <laughs> and it's claws again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Zero said, if he fails, does he lose his pants? I don't think he's wearing <laughs> pants. I think he's already pantsless. <laughs> It's all I have a I have an apron, but I have one on the other side too, so it's kind of like a battle dress. <laughs> yeah. With no, uh, no griddles fans. between the apron parts. For sure, heart. Yeah. I was, I was going to say I really hoped you were wearing yeah, like heart, heart boxers, boxers absolutely. But the, but the box or the yeah. hearts are waffles. Waffles. Yes. Oh Thank you. God. Same page. Waffle hearts. Oh. <laughs> that's Waffle heart is my next D character. Hearts. Yeah. Our monster. Waffle yeah. Hearts. Yeah. Hearts. <laughs> Agree. So, let's go. I love it. Um, we're on ad right now, so I hesitate to oh. do anything too <laughs> wild. But okay, let's see. I have a failure to work with. That's going to make something happen. Uh, Camilla, before I get to the failure, um, Nathan has this <laughs> knife hand weapon. What do you? What are you trying to do here? Um, you know what? I think I'm also going to try to alter the dream because that seems like the best way to fight fire with fire. I am going to uh, try to uh <laughs> to give myself a large can of raid <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, i love mm -hmm. this it's, like, it's like a, a raid fire, battle ian said it i did say raid. there would be a raid battle that's foreshadowing <laughs> zero just gave nathan a minus one forward thank you thank you zero. i was doing too good <laughs> uh camilla go ahead and roll plus sharp to see if you can get lucid with that big old can of raid uh, I cannot. That was a six. Ooh, that that means I can do something even more bad. Um, okay. Great. Great, 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 great. No raid can. Um, so, which is perfect because the people on at on the ad break wouldn't know about the raid can anyway. <laughs> it's our secret True. raid can. Mm, the one that never happened. That doesn't exist. Hmm. The the bug, the dream weevil, lands uh, with a thud. Four distinct, six, sorry, six legs on bugs, right? <laughs> six distinct. Depends on the bug. Bugs, the scientific term. <laughs> yeah, on this, on this, be well, it's a beetle. It's a six-legged beetle. Um, mm. So it lands with these thuds of its six legs. And at, for a moment, it might seem ill, like it. This is weird. Coughs. Um, and some kind of this, like, bubbling black hmm. sludge hits the ground. Cool. Well, no, thank you. Agnes, this is something familiar to you. Perhaps uh, the most terrible nightmare you can imagine uh, seeing. The it's, sludge? The slime, yeah. It's, um, shall I say, a parasite that you're all too familiar with. And it begins to crawl toward the three of you. It's, again, just sludge, but it kind of almost, like, wraps around itself and moves in weird, sporadic ways. And it has these little flecks of gold leaf, almost, within it yeah i think agnes just starts shaking and she tries to pick up her spell book and drops it yeah that makes sense i think that your uh spell book flops to the ground um and i think that i think that when it does it's almost like scares this ooze and suddenly the ooze shoots forth and Camilla it goes straight down your throat and you're choking what do you do do I technically need to breathe no I mean I guess not yeah but it's not comfortable Oh, yeah, no, it's not, not a fun thing, but I think what I want to do is 
try to like as I'm like trying to kind of cough it out I am just going to go and I'm going to grab uh, Agnes's spell book and hand it up to her and just hold her hands under the spell book so that she can read it okay um yeah I think like when... I have the black lung I think when this thing goes for Cam, Agnes just like shrieks. Um, and I don't think you guys have heard her scream like that. Mm. And she's normally like, I think pretty unflappable in most situations. This is not that. And when you hold out the spell book to her, she like, I think she's trying to like flutter through the pages and she's not having trouble speaking clearly. Um, and she's like watching Camilla choke on this thing and trying to like speak Latin as concisely as she can. And she says, Expelle monstrum, monstrum tenere, nocere monstrum, <laughs> expelle monstrum, and like is trying to cast as best she can. Uh, you're trying to kind of like banish this thing from from her. Um, mm -hmm. Then yeah, I want you to use magic here. I was generous with you earlier. I gave you a plus two <laughs> situational bonus. I'm going to give you a minus one here that because is, you're just so fair. shaken you're so flapped use magic huh yeah we good All at right. that one seven plus two is nine minus one eight okay choose a glitch um you take one harm ignore armor yeah uh you use this spell and it uh, Camilla, you feel this sudden relief as this thing that was, you know, like shoving its way down your throat suddenly is expelled and it flies through the air. Agnes, it it hits you on the shoulder, kind of like giving you that blowback, but then keeps flying and splats on the ground somewhere behind you. You take that harm. Um, Nathan, you're not totally aware of this situation. You have your weapon that you wanted and you're looking at this beetle that's ready to charge at you. What do you do? I charge at it. Yeah, baby. Kick some ass. Plus tough. Let's see what happens. Thanks for the minus one, Zero. Huge help. <laughs> you do have two luck. Don't I know it. This is a flat roll. That is a seven. I can't take damage. I... Well, use the luck when I take damage and not take the damage, right? I can still take the seven and use luck to not take the damage, correct? True. Yes. Facts. Cool. Yes, absolutely. I do that. Uh, how much damage? You're, uh, that's, I guess, a question for me because this is a pretty wild um, I was just going to substitute the brick. <laughs> sure. But I, I think I'm going to give you like a three harm situation. Hey. Uh, but it breaks immediately. The knives just fly hither. Yeah, and, and, no, that makes total and, and sense. Uh, <laughs> you... Are they stuck in the thing and also stuck on my arm? <laughs> <laughs> just, they just fly. They just scatter. It's just like... <laughs> ah, <the> beads. <laughs> but you do quite a bit of damage to you, and it just rams you. Um, and you fly backwards, and you spend your luck to not take that harm, but it would be a considerable amount of harm. So, uh, Yeah, I figured. Wise choice there. Thank you so much. Agnes, you are kind of recovering from this. This is something from your dark past that has clearly affected you. Um, you also start to get caught up in the dream again. Um, and you, you remember that there's one person, one, one name sticks out to you that knows how to deal with this parasite, this ooze. Um, that person's name is Teddy. Yeah. Um, do you reach out to them in any way? You don't have to. Hmm. I I think Agnes thinks about it for a minute. I think Agnes thinks about reaching out to Teddy. 
but I think she lets it go after like I think she thinks about it for a couple seconds and then just closes that idea like no I, I, I cannot I cannot reach out to her um, and then instead like gr just like grabs blindly at Cam I think Cam's got her hands on either side of the spell book on top of Agnes's hands and she just says you beat it before you'll beat it again take a Cam, deep breath Cam that's the thing that's the that's the first monster I ever fought that's the monster I summoned I can't do this I I, I, I can't you're so much better now. You have me, you have a Nathan who will charge monsters now, apparently. We got this. Open your book. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to bite the shit out of that monster. Um, yes. Okay, awesome. You're going to go bite the monster. Uh, Agnes... I'm not going to say immediately why right now, but I want you to act under pressure. Just give, me, gonna... just give me a fun okay. little roll. Oh, no. The first one's a one. That's okay. So I'm going to use... Can I use I've read about this sort of thing? I get to use sharp instead of cool. Does that apply here or no? Um, you've read about this sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, sure. Absolutely. Don't know, don't know what you're doing. Um, okay, that brings it from a six to an eight. Okay, cool. Make success. Um, cool. Then nothing happens right now. Great. Great. Good. That's right, awesome. Sounds, sounds good. I love when that um, happens. Okay, yeah, then I guess Agnes is going to turn. I, it sounds like Cam is turning towards the beetle. Agnes is going to turn towards the stuff of her nightmares and try to try to keep that away from Cam and him and Nathan yeah I think that I'll even say um no yeah okay cool okay Agnes let's get Camilla okay sorry I'm trying to straighten all these events in my head Camilla let's get you to kick some ass because you're trying to bite this thing right trying to bite the bug Uh, that is a seven. Seven. Um, then, yeah, you're going to do harm to one another. How much harm does your bite do? Uh, three harm intimate base and one harm intimate life drain. So four. Wow. Yeah, you begin to drain the life. I really fucked Nathan up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding. You begin to drain the life out of this... Um out of this beetle uh you dream weevil <laughs> what does you... dream blood taste like <laughs> uh you tell me <laughs> yeah i think this blood's made of dreams <laughs> yeah what what does do... i feel like it tastes like nothing in a weirdly weird way like it's mm. just so vague um lacroix <laughs> yeah, it it's like, like somebody's drinking a dream in the next room. Oh no, I like Sarah. Actually, Sarah said vanilla coke. I love that for some. <laughs> there reason. it is. That's great shit. Perfect. Good Perfect. job. Sarah. Good callback. Uh, you will take two harm. This is ignore armor. You don't. You don't. You don't. You, your thing is different than ignore armor, right? Your thing just reduces the harm. Yeah, okay. it's just inherently I take one fewer harm. That's pretty badass. So I take one. Yes, yeah, so you take one harm. And you begin to dream, drain the life from this beetle. Agnes, yes. this ooze is beginning another launch. You can tell now by the way it launched before that it's going to try and do this again, except for uh, towards you this time. In fact, <clears throat> there's almost nothing else around you. I don't think you even register Camilla or Nathan. I think you are alone facing off against this terrible thing uh, that you have, uh, that haunts you, that I think haunts you in, in perhaps other nightmares too. Um, what do you do? 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 What do she you do? Cries. No, um, she, uh, <laughs> she pulls out her spell book and, and tries to cast to banish it. Yes, uh, banish it, like, from this dream, I guess, in this mm, case. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll allow it. Let's do a plus weird roll here. Okay. That's a 10 on the dice plus two. Shit, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Yeah, she's... She, do you want Shit, to describe yeah. her? No, I think tears in your eyes. Tell me what happens yeah. here. Yeah, I think the world is disappearing, and she's staring down this thing, and she pulls out her book and charges towards it, and as she walks forward, and with every step forward she takes, she's casting, and she says, Expelle monstrum. Back from whence you came. Leave our world the same. Get out of my head. You are long dead. And snaps her book and hopefully makes it disappear. Yes. There is a crack of not thunder, but some other rumbling force of of power. And uh, the dream is done. The three of you wake up, not in your beds, but... I'm sorry, not at Waho, but in your beds. There okay. is, that's what I meant. Um, and you, all three of you feel like a pinching at mm. the base of your like like a, a, on your neck i slap it no Wait. not there in, in their own, own bed bets. zero not in the same bed <laughs> although how cute how cute though <laughs> very cute yeah uh yeah i slap at it with my claw hand and cut the fuck out of myself <laughs> no there's no claw hand oh thank god Nick just enough glove <laughs> Yeah, we slap it. Yep. Yeah, each of you kill your dream weevil. It's like a little guy now? The one, the real life one. Yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. And all you got to do is squish it. You I squish it. I guess that explains the blood I on squish the heck out of it. Nathan, be honest. Can I put do a cup it? over it? No, can I put a cup over it? Roll to act under pressure. Cool. Six on the dice plus one is a seven. Um, Terrible time for a big success, but... Don't, don't let this thing back out. Don't, please. <laughs> I succeed. I do succeed. You succeed. Um, how can I make this interesting? Hard choice, worse outcome, or a price to pay? If we get to use that cup again. <laughs> For, eh. Cap, you Nathan, please Cap, you as Nathan <laughs> Sure <laughs> Take this bug to be your lawfully wedded <laughs> <laughs> no. That's where I was I'm glad you picked up where I was going with that I want to marry this bug, thank you <laughs> And Flo, I know this apparently. bug's name is Melissa, and I'm ready. <laughs> You're going to commit this time. You cup the bug on your bedside table. You're able to pick it off your back like a, t like a tick, and it flies away. You cup it, cup against the table. It's there now. Next to the cup is a book, a manga, an unlabeled Naruto book that's totally... The pages are totally empty, and it occurs to you that you're still in a dream. Can I? I have a lot of intrusive thoughts right now. Can I roll a read a bad situation? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I don't want to just... I was going to say I just go back to sleep, and I don't feel like that's good for the story. <laughs> You're like, I hate this. <laughs> Good night. Eight of the dice plus one is a nine. Uh, that's good. Hold one. What's the best way to protect the victims, i.e. myself? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you're still in the dream. I think that your best way to protect yourself is to... You're now the in the look, we've 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 inceptioned here, right? Like the three dreams. I spend my top. Were the dreams within the dreams, and the 
you going to Waffle House and investigating this mystery was also a dream. A dream. So to protect yourself, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you need to get out of this layer, which is hopefully back to sure. real life, and then which is hopefully then, um, you know, the way to destroy it, to finally end this nightmare. Because um, real life is awesome and so good and safe. Um, certainly safer than I, this, yeah. Do I think I have to kill the bug? Um, the bug is part of the dream, perhaps. Okay. Part of... All right. Perhaps it's okay. the real bug. Perhaps it's not. Manga. Cup. Slide. Bug in cup. We've all done this in our real lives, correct? With our yes. Naruto mangas? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sink. Exclusively with Naruto mangas. Sink. Cup. Garbage disposal. Flick on. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> um here's what i'm gonna say that feels pressured (laughs) this could we could end it here this could be it let's for nathan or the game yeah yeah. let's get lucid roll plus sharp we're gonna see if you can alter this dream to where this is like the bug Six and a five on a dice. Woo! That's an eleven. Hell yeah. Plus one is a twelve. Ah uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As the garbage disposal goes, uh, Camilla, Agnes, you were getting ready for work. Oh, not not you, Camilla, but you know what I mean. She doesn't work. You were getting ready to go to Waho. <laughs> uh, and skulk. And you suddenly hear in your respective houses, your apartments, uh, that sound, the garbage disposal, but not like in the other room, like around you, as if it's this huge mess, you know, this vortex. And then you suddenly once again find yourselves awake, waking up in your beds. Any bugs? There's a no bug. Bugs. There's a pinch on the back of your neck. I kill it. I kill it again. Immediately. Nathan, I kill the hell out of it. Nathan, do you kill yours? I wake up again with a bug? Yeah. <laughs> I do the same fucking thing. Roll like under pressure. <laughs> Good. Okay, I'm stuck in a horrible infinite loop of this bug being thrown in a That's, I can do this all day. <laughs> he does. I use my last luck. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck this bug. Did you just get doomed because... <laughs> yep, they because didn't. I think I was squish. doomed if I didn't. <laughs> doomed if I do, doomed if I don't, did Jess. You, did you just roll a... Did you just use a point of luck to kill a bug that's this big? No, to capture yes. the bug. Okay. It. Better. So we can put it in a garbage disposal and still kill it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, you cup the bug, Nathan. <laughs> And you cup it right next to a book. It's a an issue of Naruto, and it's epi- it's episode. Pff, it's <laughs> issue number twenty two. And you flip through the pages, and they are full of action and hilarity, and uh, ninja drama or whatever else Naruto has. <laughs> 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 and you have defeated my dream weevil congratulations everyone Woo! Woo! That was I need fun. To call we're awake i think <laughs> uh so did they conclude that we have a of course we i have another little intriguing <laughs> ah, yes. passage but did they include the current mystery yes y- yep yes yeah for sure are Absolutely. we awake <laughs> That depends. Yeah, are we awake? Uh, did they? Oh, yeah, I don't know. We'll find Dixon. out. We'll find out next week. <laughs> oh, a luck for Nathan. Look. Dixon save. Dixon Thank save. Thank you. Oh, Dixon. Uh, what? What a peach. What a peach. What a bless. What a. Blessing. What a peach. Yeah, please keep Nathan alive. I'm really attached to him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're attached to him? Like you're conjoined twins? We're well, no, in our big chart. In our, yeah, in our. <laughs> get along. Our get along fry cook. <laughs> Next week or in a fortnight. Oh, yeah, definitely in a fortnight. Aren't we doing another thing, though? 
Oh, we should tease. Everybody come here for April 1st. Come here. Lean in. Get out here. Come come closer. We have a surprise for you. Uh, Come here April 1st. Come go to Zero Does Stuff tomorrow. And then April 1st. Definitely do that. Come here. We want to perform a secret surprise for you. Yes. April Fools? What what are you talking what? about? No. no. What's April Fools? Um, so anyway, let's get back to our questions. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, same what time, time, same zero. time, same time, same place. Five PM my time. That's six PM Eastern. Eastern. That's Eastern. <laughs> That's Eastern. For you New Zealanders, uh Cyril will have to tell you uh, <laughs> what time it is. Um, okay. Did they save someone from sudden death or worse? Can't be ourselves, right? Us? I mean, no. Well. Correct. Yeah. Nathan almost uh, yeah, I mean, a lot, but no, no one else. I guess not. It's just us. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much any other bystander was either Sam or directly opposed to you here. So, mm-hmm. uh, Okay. Well, did we learn something new and important about the world? Uh... N- we learned about Agnes already yeah. knew what dream weevils were, so right from dark past. So no, yeah, and the world was not actually the world. Mm. Yeah, the I guess that's world. true. Did we learn something new and important about one of the hunters? Yeah, yeah. I feel like we learned a lot about Agnes. Yeah, Nathan makes a great Freddy glove. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and what has... Nathan does when he's really getting his shit together. <laughs> And Cam has always wanted to eat Nathan. And Nathan feels some kind of way about Flo. <laughs> Apparently. That's the big thing. <sighs> um, you Did said you know, it not I me. only picture Flo as the progressive. Yeah, that's all I see. Flo. But covered in ice. Like, that's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh my yep. god, you're right. Fully like sure. blue. And bending. And scale. Constantly bending further over. <laughs> in a <laughs> nightmarish way. <laughs> Terrible posture. Very, yeah. very annoying. <laughs> Overcorrecting. Very um, okay. So that's two <laughs> yeses, flirty. which means one experience for everyone. Did anybody learn? Right. I level up. Right. I, me. I level up. Me, I did. I, I had leveled up previously. Yeah. So I, have to I level up and then some. Okay, okay, okay. I'll do it betwixt sessions. Betwixt. Is everyone doing betwixt or does someone want to level up right now? To show that you mean it. I think it. I will do betwixt. To show that I've got options. I'm going to uh, betwixt. We'll start next cool. session mm-hmm. by going over our level ups. Did we yes. make use of a coincidence or unexpected resource? Yes. Yeah, I mean. Oven reason. mitts, knives. Yes, yeah, sure. Fair enough. Sunflowers. The, yeah, Sunflowers. sure, sure. Then you get a multiverse playbook experience point. Ah, so we have three which, now. Yeah. I think it takes five yeah, to level up, which is surprising, but. We'll get a level up soon for that makes our... sense. I might I might say three just to be nice and get some more action on well, that. Well then we level up, up. But but let me let me think about that. I'll let you know next week. On Cook it over. Cook it over. Next week, two weeks from two weeks from now, I should say. Um, okay. Well that's everything for our questions. I'm going to talk us out. So <clears throat> The three hunters are now safe and comfortable in their beds, having finally defeated the dream weevils in earnest. They fall asleep and begin to get that much-needed rest. Agnes turns on her pillow, and we pan to, to her bedside table where her phone lights up. It's a response from an unsaved number. It reads... Happy to help. Gotta say, I'm surprised to hear from you. Let's catch up sometime. For old time's sake. Thank you very much for watching. Tomorrow, join us on Ciro Does Stuff channel as Cap and I join Ciro, Johnny from the Monsters Playbook, and Michael Sands, the creator of Monster of the Week, the Monster Daddy himself. Catch us on... uh, Perhaps April 1st. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, But also April 11th for the next episode of Shrimp and Crits Live. Uh, We have some special guests planned for April 11th. Uh, Gimme Dilute is coming on the podcast. 
Uh, I believe we have three of them. Uh, I don't know exactly who. Uh, so I'll let you know very soon. And we'll uh, see you then. Please follow us. Turn on notifications. Check yes. out our podcast on any and all podcatchers. Uh, and thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> and this Bye. is the thank song. Thank you for being a shrimp. Dream. Weevil. <laughs>